And it's going to be a night. Shane's already getting on my nerves. Hi there, y'all. <laughs> I'm sitting here with Mariana Blonde. Wait. <laughs> I'm trying to be extra calm tonight because last live stream, I don't know if y'all were here or not. It was lit. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> so I'm trying to be um, calmer <laughs> tonight. But y'all know how that goes. I might stay calm half the video. And I might end up just going <laughs> wild. Hey, guys. What y'all doing? I was in the chat a few minutes ago. And there was people waiting like 40-something minutes ago. And I was like, y'all. What y'all doing? <laughs> it was lit. It was something. <laughs> it was lit. <laughs> Shane's already over here calling me Ari what it Mariana Mariana Blonde. <laughs> Ariana Grande, the trailer park version, I guess. Oh, I gotta tell y'all, um, y'all have at <laughs> are we gonna do that tonight? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I'm just here for the rod. Phyllis <laughs> stories. They were asking for Phyllis stories. <laughs> y'all remember Phyllis? Phyllis? <laughs> Phyllis used to be the highlight of my week. I would do like Phyllis impersonation. What was the? Well, I want to see a Phyllis impersonation. Oh, hold on. All right, hold on. I got it. Hold on. What's that cousin it? No, you leave my poof alone. All right. Oh wow, that really. <laughs> 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 I want Everyone my just popping in, back. pops right back off. <laughs> They're like, oh, God. Everyone no. made <laughs> Oh, wait, this was Lucille. This was Lucille. I was Lucille. And then I had beef with Phyllis. Phyllis isn't a fictional character. Look at my Elvis curl right now. <laughs> Phyllis is not a fictional character. She's legitimately. Um, a character. Okay, I need to bring y'all a little bit closer. We're taking this out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take you serious with the George Lopez haircut <laughs> here. <laughs> All my friends are a low rider. <laughs> I used to watch that as like a teenager every night. It would come on at like... Context. Context. <laughs> what? The George Lopez show. Right? Oh. <laughs> Shane's my therapist. He's always like, Marina, slow down. You've got to tell the other people what you're talking we about. Got hay from Delaware. Hay Listen, from Tennessee. That, that hay is from a Middle Tennessee. I thought about getting my hair cut like that. Like, I was too prideful before well, to get it done. When did you ever plan to get that haircut? When I was in my NASCAR face. Like, I was, <laughs> I was wearing my wolf shirts. Wolf my, shirts I'm still on brand with my wolf NASCAR. shirts. So many of y'all gave me wolf shirts, and I still wear them, don't I? And I'm proud of those suckers. That's I mean, my image. When you see fearfully created, I want you to see well Jesus first of all, but then a wolf shirt, and then and then a reverse mullet, and then a NASCAR like theme. I don't even like NASCAR, but I like the theme of it. My papa liked it, so it had to be cool. She's doing good. Nanny is doing good. She's almost back to normal. Wasn't she? She was. Yeah, she was she's pretty okay. Her. Um, I got. I didn't get the big bug from her because we weren't around her for like. What three weeks? Yeah, it's been a so like bit. we ended up getting the big bug right after each other, but it wasn't correlated, and she got a totally different kind of big bug. So it was, it was not fun. But she's feeling so much better now, which is awesome because she has asthma, and it it could have been a lot worse. It wasn't though. Thank you, Jesus. Yep. But Virginia, I was just singing that. What was I singing? Well, you were singing Sweet West home, Virginia, Virgin Alabama, not no, that you one. You were singing West me Virginia. I, want, I told Shane if we had another kid, I wanted to name her Shenandoah. Cause I like that name, Shenandoah. Hey, oh, I tried to last time y'all told me to slow down the the chat, so I try to do that. So if they're going a little bit slower now, that's why. But it it's weird when you get into like the settings of YouTube and stuff. Like I, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to explain. So I, I was trying to fix it though. That way there wasn't a thousand going by and I didn't get to see nobody's comments or nothing. Can you tell me I talk a lot with my hands? You were. <laughs> <laughs> I only do it when you're close to me. Get free hits in. <laughs> Interpretive dance. Oh, not, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I didn't slow it down enough. I don't South think so. Georgia. Whoa! Oh, Binks. That's Binks. Okay, so I got a story time for you guys. Um, we're actually supervising Binks and Tater right now, which is why they're in here. Otherwise, um... Oh, Marina! <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> Otherwise, they, can, they can't be alone right now. So, we're, we're supervising them on supervising duty. Last time, I had them in there playing with the kids, but I don't trust the kids to watch them right now. Nah. 
So it's just ah. tater. Y'all want to see the tater, baby? Little fried tater salad. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. Okay, Thanks. they're getting up close <laughs> okay. and personal. They're getting up close and personal. Hey, from Alabama. <coughs> hey, from Texas. <laughs> it's going so fast. Listen, reverse mullet. Yes. Do you want to see it? No. <laughs> we already saw it. We already saw it. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Whoa. This. You know, like your name should be Mabel. No, it's Lucille. This is a reverse mullet. Structure in the back, party in the front. You know, you gotta have. Gotta have. Uh, the doubt fire. <laughs> Oh, I, 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 love, I love you. How's your mom doing? She's doing better. She's doing better. Uh, she's home now. Um, she's gonna, you know, it's gonna take some time to recover, but she's doing better. He ta uh, you talk to her. Yeah, I feel like I'm in an interview. You're doing <laughs> <better>. <laughs> I'm trying not to interrupt him last time, cause I, I this time, cause I interrupted him a lot last time. North Carolina, come on and raise up. I can't sing that song. <laughs> Got in. England, wait, got in. Nevada. From work in Essex, in Essex, England. How are y'all? Hey, friend. That's so cool. Listen, I want to go to England so, so, so bad. Still going fast. I know. Yeah. See, it, so it gives you the option to write a number one to three hundred, and like, so if I put three hundred, that's what five minutes. That you would only be able to comment one time in five minutes, and I thought that was a little excessive, so I did like midway. But I don't know if it's working or not. <laughs> Shane, she's gonna knock you out with her hands. That's what I'm thinking. Man, Your hell. hand is like right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try. Wow. All right, we're gonna we're gonna wrap my hands up in the blanket because. I got a shirt that don't fit all the way on me anyway. It just fits the top, which that's all I need right now because I'm, you know, you guys ain't seeing. It's a, it's a party right now because the shirt don't fit me right. But it fits me up here, and I, I was like, oh, that looks cute. I like that shirt. I've had it for forever. <coughs> so I was we like. We got Michigan. We got Florida. I'm going to wear that one, but I'm going to try to tie my hands up. That way I don't smack Shane. Yeah, I would prefer not to get you, smacked. Y'all want to do a QA? and a I told Shane we might do a QA. and a Hold on. My bun's got to go up because I can't. Here it goes. Stuff goes down when the bun goes up. Dad, shave my underarms. Oops. Oops. <laughs> my, my bad. Oh, I think I did, but I can't see. Uh, anybody else can't see the inside of their underarms? It's a... Okay. Get to talking. All right. Um, all right. Here for a little while. Hopefully wanted to give mm. you a hug. Hey, Teddy! Hey, Teddy! How you doing? Tater Nation. We love Teddy. I'm just sitting here just... <laughs> I think it's delayed. <laughs> Why are you... Yeah, it is delayed. Tater is in heat, and she is scheduled to have her spade. She's scheduled to have her spade after her heat. Y'all were giving me mixed info, and Google was giving me mixed info, and their vet wanted to go ahead and spay her after her first heat. This is her first heat. She, for some reason, she didn't go in heat at six months like dogs normally do. So my vet was expecting her to go into heat at six months or around that time because she's a smaller breed or something. But she she didn't. So this is her first heat at a year old. She just turned a year old, and I gotta show y'all pictures of her when she's a puppy. I'll try to do that in the next uh, in the next video, like just do like a little tater birthday tribute. But we're, we've got her scheduled. She's been in heat for. 14 days now. So far, Binks ain't showed most, much interest in her, but we do have a neighbor lined up in case that they need to be separated for a little while in case it gets a little bit too crazy, but so far it's not. They just, they've just been playing and having fun. Taylor's more interested than Binks at this point. It's still going fast. And it just, it does <laughs> seem, uh, delayed. Yeah. Somewhat. I have, um, hey, England! Mississippi, Mississippi Kentucky, in my SSI, SSI, in my SSI, Orange SSI. County, California. Thank you for your real, true, honest, godly content. God is first over here in the Taylor Nation house, always, <laughs> always. Mississippi, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, listen, if Kentucky. if somebody from every state could just like let us hang out with them for a day or two, that'd be awesome. <laughs> She's like what? North Dakota, South Dakota, particularly. 
really want to go see those places. You're, Montana. You're planning the, <laughs> a tour here. <laughs> Doing it's a tour created of for. the U.S. And then I'll branch out. and Because we got some Australian. Uh, we got some Europe. Ireland. Ireland. Oh, Ireland. Um, there was somebody else. What was it? Dominican or something Dominican like that. Republic. I was so excited for that one. Hey, hey. My mom always asks me when you're going to post again. She loves you. Like I said, you remind us of my sister. Oh, tell her I love her. I, listen, I, 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 maybe I'll have to do it 300 next time. Maybe I'll have to do it 300 next time and um, try to, I talk with my hand, yeah, and try to slow it down even more. I just hate to, like, mute you guys because that would only give you one thing to say in five minutes. I don't think that YouTube ah. realizes, like, that's, you know what I mean? Like that's that's not a whole lot to say. What if you what if I'm talking and you're like me and you hear something I say and you're like, oh, I really gotta say this to Marina, da, 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 and then it don't let you post it, and then I never see it, and then you get upset, and I don't want that to happen. I wish they had an option to where it would keep it. People could continually flow in the comments, but they wouldn't be limited to a time limit because that's the problem. Like they limit you to a time limit of how many times you can comment and how many minutes. But I have questions here. Oh, thank you for being a foster mom. I know that that's 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 tough. That I can't. Let's see Shane's hair. Shane, they want to see your hair. My hair? Why y'all want to see my hair? No, nope, yeah, no, no, Tater. Hey, listen, etiquette, etiquette. You gotta have etiquette. There's, <laughs> there's. I'm due for a haircut. I'll probably get one soon, but. There it is. I don't know. You're kind of getting that 2009. Uh, no, 2009, Listen, Shane. 2009. Let me find 2009. I'll find a 2009 oh, my Lanta. picture of Shane. Hold on. Oh, my Lanta. Like, okay, so Shane and I met in 2009. I'll tell you all the story. Y'all want to hear a story? Let's see. So, Shane and I, I know they're too fast for me, too. I, I don't want to swap it, though, because then I can't see you guys. 2009, Shane and I met. We met on duh, 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 <laughs> plenty of fish. No, I'm <laughs> Is that a Christian one? Wait, yes. <laughs> well, they say it's a Christian one, but I've heard some doozies of stories. But we met on MySpace. <coughs> and so I'm sitting beside this feller. Okay, I'm a, a different feller, not him. Sitting beside <laughs> this feller. And this, <laughs> and this feller is scrolling MySpace. And I see Shane. I see his picture. And Shane had some abs. Oh, my. Land. Don't ask me how I snagged him. I still, to this day, do not know. It's a shallow how thing. That's what I always tell. Y'all ever seen the movie Shallow How? This is Shallow How. There was, there was different <laughs> haircuts. This oh, is an that, old shame. That look razor. at that razor phone right there. But he was showing his abs. And, like, that was one thing he had. He had going for him. Obviously, he was really attractive. Those went but, away with age. <laughs> <laughs> but he was, like, I mean, oh, attractive. And, like, back then, you guys have probably seen pictures of me on Instagram. If you don't know, I have an Instagram. It's fairly created to, right? Fairly created to one thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like very alternative emo. Uh, this poofy hair, um, Shane. You know, look at that, look at that hair. Pieces. That kind of went away too. <laughs> look how fine though. Um, this is my last resort. Suffocation, and no breathing. Um, I was very, very, very. It was dark. I, I had a very dark childhood, so like it was, it was. That's how I coped with it. So I see him, and this is a skinny jean wearing. Beanie wearing, skateboarding, I mean, like, all the time, all the nine yards. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm That's like, an embarrassing one. oh, snap. Like, I, there ain't no way I stand a chance with him, but it ain't going to stop me from, like, shooting my shot. <laughs> so I saw him on this guy's computer and remembered his name, went over to my phone, typed him in, found him, sent him a friend request. And, and no, I, I cannot like, play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack Skellington hoodie. Yeah. And I was like, okay. I said, uh, I'm, I'm going to shoot my shot. Like, I'm, I'm going to try it. So I sent him a friend request, and I played hard to get. When, okay, so, like, what you do when you're a bigger girl with lower confidence is what I did. This is not what you should do. But this is what I did. I, I was a big girl. Didn't have a hard time getting guys, but it wasn't for, the, like, the right reasons. So I... Played it safe, and I got them attached to my personality, and then they can leave. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so I uh, played it cool. I sent him a friend request, but I didn't message him first. So while I'm like looking, it took you five seconds to message me. Like I was looking through his picture still. Like, and all of a sudden I get a message from him. What was it? You ain't got you time. Me. You ain't got time to wait. You gotta, you gotta get a move on when your future's in at stake. You know what I'm well, saying? He sent me a message and he <laughs> said, um, he said, what was it? You're oh, you gave me your number. Yeah. Didn't you? Or you told me to text you, or did you get my number? Oh, no, no, no. He said, here's my number, text me. And I said, no, here's my number, you text me. You remember yeah. that? I was like, I don't text first. And so he texted me like that. We actually, nobody no, hardly knows this, do they? I don't even think Nanny knows this. But um, we I talked for so. how many months? Now, this is a little picture. Look at baby Marina in this picture. It's kind of black and white. You have to remember this picture was taken on the them old flip phones, so it can't get HD'd up or anything, but you can kind of see her. The there. eyeliner was Little baby like Marine. down to my cheekbones. <laughs> so I was like, what, what, where was I at? Oh, no, I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we talked for like three months without seeing each other. Because I was like, I've got, <laughs> this is my mindset as a 17 year old. I've got to like bag him <laughs> while, uh, with my personality, basically. Because once he sees me, then it, but it ended up being totally. You didn't uh, want to be like that kid from, uh, I didn't want to be 16 the, Candles. I've never bagged a babe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be the original catfish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I didn't want to be that. So I tried to like slowly be like, okay, you know, like, um, I'm, I'm a little bit plus size. A little bit, you know. Um, that was one of my favorites. You had that passport. When was that your Jeep? That's a passport. He had a blue Jeep and a green passport. But, so, I um, I keep losing my train of thought. Every time you show a picture. I'm so sorry. I was, so, three months we talk on the phone. Every day. Uh, from the time the morning hit to the time way after the sun went down. Like, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. We would talk on the phone. We'll yep. be not. And then after it's three true. months, we met. So, like, I met him. We're three and a half years apart. So, like, I would have, I was almost 18 when I met, met him for the first time. Well, first time, because I actually met you. God was, like, kind of, like, pushing it to, you know, like, not pushing us together. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> not pushing us together, because, like, obviously we still had growing to do and stuff. But our, our, like, lives were crossing we, so much. We had crisscrossed several times. So many times and not actually met yet. So, like, we, we hadn't actually met yet. So, it was, it was happening, you know. And I remember meeting him. We met at the Panty Island Belk. <laughs> you that? that was not my decision. <laughs> That wasn't my decision. <laughs> I brought somebody with me because obviously you don't want to meet, even back then, you don't want to meet somebody from the internet by yourself. <laughs> he met me by himself. <laughs> I could have been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, we met and it we like, hit it off just like that. And we actually, we were dating. But we would only see each other one time a week at the mall, wouldn't we? Well, yeah. two times. Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays. Because your work schedule and stuff like that. Yeah. So, Wednesdays and, and almost Fridays. <laughs> Shallow hell, yeah. Um, so, we would meet on those days and, like, get to know each other and stuff. And in the fall of 2009, that's when things really started moving forward. Like, it was, like, snap. Like, I think... Like, then we gonna get married. Like, you know. I, you can't tell because this is such a heavily pixelated photo, but I'm running from a mannequin. A headless mannequin. I took mannequin. that, didn't I? Yeah, you took that. I th yeah. That was in, was that in Coles? Or was that in I Elk? think so. But in the fall, like, that's when it started moving. And we were like, I, I, it was there from the beginning. Like, we were, we were super into each other like in the beginning you better have been super into <laughs> me in the beginning <laughs> but anyway it, it, something switched and that's when i was like oh snap that's when i was and I like they heard something in there. i think i Come might here. marry this guy like kind of thing i had that effect on people <laughs> 
I got that one too. Looking like a model. Oh, I put your hair in that faux hat that day. <laughs> I cut Shane's hair one time into a mullet on the toilet at Danny's house. <laughs> and he, since then, he has not let me touch his mullet. Okay, I don't like, want dog kisses on the neck. Touch his mullet, touch his hair. <laughs> Come here, babies. Come here. That's all the pictures I have of those days. What about? They're very few and far between. Not a whole lot. Oh, unfortunately. No. Oh, me and baby Colton. Yeah, you want to see baby Colton? Look at baby Colton, guys. That's <laughs> baby Colton. He's cute. He's cute. <clears throat> we had Colton. We got pregnant with Colton one month after getting married. Yep. We got married in December of 2009. Yep. It was a fast thing. Like, it was like, bam, bam, bam. And then we had Colton in October so smooth, of Shane. 2010. Hey, that's the only way I rolled. Yes, my chemical romance. <laughs> well, what's the worst thing I can say? <laughs> listen, you bring up those old bands, I can still to this day. I don't listen to a lot of it anymore, but I can remember it. It's one of those things that like get stuck in your mind. They're mind worms, and they don't they don't leave. Like they just keep. <laughs> All games we play. Yeah, I listen. I love Mr. Banks. We're do, we're. I'm trying to be a lot calmer in this one and giving Shane a, a chance to talk. But this is the problem: is I talk too much. You don't talk <laughs> at all. I <laughs> talk. Straight. I was showing him pictures. <laughs> I was, I was, I was. Zodiac sign. I don't know. I don't. I don't really mess with zodiac sign. I think I'm a. Listen. I okay. I do know what I am, but I say it. I said it wrong one time, and I got really embarrassed. So I don't say it anymore. I think it's a Virgo or something Shane. like that. I didn't see what that was. Important, you guys are to me. I've been struggling a lot lately. And your videos bring joy back to me. That's what, that's what I want to do. Like, I, if I can, if I can just like get you to keep trying, get you to keep going. That's, that's what I want. Like I, if I can get you to clean your house, that's cool. And like, if I can motivate us to do the chores and stuff every day, that's cool. But at the end of the day, like if I can just get you to keep going, that's what I, I care about. So comments like that mean the world to me because that, that's what I'm here for. Somebody said panty aisle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, was hey, that mine? Every, everybody's throwing that love towards MySpace. MySpace was awesome. You could sit there and you could customize that page and you'd have all your likes and your dislikes down through there. And this one here would be sitting there coding stuff. <laughs> Like, you remember that? You'd put something in the brackets, you'd and somehow it would change your fonts and everything like that? you do, like, a, a sideways V, and then a slash and a sideways V, and then put, like, a different a font type of yeah. thing. Kind of like ambient music to study and concentrate. That was an ad. <laughs> I just read <laughs> My moderators ain't here, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Shane's face, lol. What's it doing? <laughs> Minnesota in the house. He, I'm telling you, God orchestrated that. Like there, there's no denying it. He orchestrated that, and he has continued to orchestrate everything in our marriage. Like it's divinely orchestrated. Even yep. in the bad times, you can look back now and you can see like he was working on a plan when it didn't look like it at the time. He was working on a plan, and now that we see the fruit of it, we're at the end. Of all of that chaos. Oh, I hope it's not the end. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like. I'm going to wait to be a motivational like a speaker end. when you're gone. When you're out of here, I'm going to be a motivational You, you sound <laughs> ominous. You're like, here we are at the end. I'm the <laughs> at the end, end of all of things. That, <laughs> the end of that time in our marriage. Like that bad time in our marriage. We can look back and we can see like. It's harder for me too, but Shane, it's easier for Shane too because like he, he was so faithful like through all of that and like not only to me but to God too. So, <laughs> so he can see the that there was a plan the entire time by the fruit of of who I am today. Thank you, Jesus. You know what I mean? Because it's nothing that I did. Right on. Um, I'm gonna wait to be a motivational speaker though for a time whenever he's not in the chat room because. <laughs> I'm a great motivational speaker. Okay, give it. Hit us with one. 
Well, you have to give me a topic. Uh, you're huh? sitting on my foot right now, actually. It okay. is Look, asleep. <laughs> sometimes in life, you feel like your foot's asleep. When in reality, your foot's just trying to remind you that it's alive. <laughs> Bertha. Wave. Hey, Shane's hot. Oh, tell me about it. I hope not. That would mean I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because anytime I see videos, like, because you guys know, like, first of all, there's videos that try to find out my net worth. I didn't even know I had a net worth until they told me what it was. And when they told me what it was, I was floored. I was like, man, I make $1.2 million. <laughs> Holy Have you guys seen it, the picture? The, it's the thumbnail is her. My hair. When she had her hair done. <laughs> And she's still got the, the, the wrap that they put on her at the salon. But then they have, like, these crazy Jeeps oh, behind Lamborghini. her. And there's, like, a, a, a mansion in the background. And I'm just sitting there, like, they clearly don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> when no, we say mobile home mansion. That listen, when these people look at, um, I'll just put this out there. When these people look at the stats on these YouTube, on these these websites that give YouTube channel information, it's like they're really saying, behind. they're, they're, right they're now. saying that, you know, this person makes based on this amount of things, analytics, this person makes 20,000 a month. They are so wrong. Like, don't even, <laughs> they are so wrong. Don't get that stuff the time of day. They are so wrong. On See, both they're levels. still back on MySpace. It'll catch up, I think. I don't think it will. <laughs> <laughs> because every time we talk, you're the, really hurting my foot. Uh, I don't but feel like I'm old. anyway, anytime that somebody does a video where they mention me or I'm tagged in something, it's always somebody oh. being so kind and then just like throwing it in there. Shane's hot, by the way. It's, I guess it's where I see him every day. Like I just kind of know that. I don't know. If you saw him like behind the scenes, like when his hair's parted down the middle, like you or know. or like when I wear my glasses. I had my glasses on today, and Marina kept making fun of me, saying, "Oh, you." I come out, and I haven't worn... I had to get new glasses the other day, and so I haven't worn them a whole lot. And I came in, I said, how do I look? She says, you you look very studious. Look. I look like he Dwight Schrute. <laughs> Question. What? Answer. <laughs> no, I was doing the Dwight Schrute. Uh -oh. Look, and then you do something like that. Oh, no, that's giving me Nick Carter vibes. <laughs> I don't want to give you Nick Carter vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I want it that way. What are you eating on? <gasps> no, you can't have that. Uh oh. Oh no. I know. She's going to be upset. You're going to have to go find her. Another yeah, we'll have to get her. Hey, her. why'd you do that? Is it, is it her toys oh. up there? Oh my goodness. We're not supervising them very well. Where, where, where are the rest of Joey's toys? I don't know. Oh, baby. We'll have to, maybe we can hide it and, and give her a new one without her knowing. No, you just need to be transparent and we'll tell her we'll get her a new one. There's no point it. in heartbrokenness like that. It's not heartbroken. Over a stitch toy. <sighs> oh. Let's see. We're, we were supposed to already started the podcast. Yeah. Um, we actually had filmed some on it and then... Do you guys remember when Shane was having all those health issues where he was get he had to get biopsy and stuff? All that happened, and then I had a fresh kind of uh, vision for that after that, um, and I was kind of waiting on God to to like lead it because my po the podcast our podcast is going to be very faith driven. It's faith completely faith. Um, Jesus crossed everything. So I was waiting on kind of direction. And to be honest, I did get that direction, but I kind of stalled on it. There's several reasons why. Um, you know, it takes a lot of time already. I, I don't have a lot of time right now. I have so much on my plate. And that's why you guys haven't seen as many uploads as you've seen before. Like, I do longer videos now, and that takes a lot of time, so I'm trying to still get in the habit of posting consistently over here, because this is, this is what God blew up, like, this, this channel over here is what 
I, I couldn't have blown it up if I if I tried. Like, I don't know squat about analytics. I don't know how to work the YouTube algorithm. I, I'm ignorant on those things. So, I always prioritize this channel over any other, like, hobby or anything that I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody <laughs> was taking bets whether or not you're going to accidentally <laughs> hit me. <laughs> because um, because this is, this is the priority. So... It's honestly been a me problem. Shane's been ready whenever I want to be to sit down and do it. Marina is like, oh, you're so kind. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I have my days. <laughs> but I try. I try really hard to just be the best person that I can what be. What are you doing? Tater. <laughs> I try really hard. So, hopefully, maybe, you want to hold me accountable for that? What? To get that podcast up and running. Because yeah, we need to get it up There's, like, running. 4,000 subscribers over there like waiting on a video so I, I need to I need to yeah. be better it about is that coming. <coughs> I got a loogie I'm trying to keep it down y'all you are my favorite youtuber I just discovered your channel last year come back I look forward to when you upload that means so much to me I don't know why I you guys like me I think I struggle with that too like a lot of people have said like I should do certain <laughs> I almost hit you that time, and Did you went and straight at the perfect oh, time. I didn't mean to that time. I, I was just rocking and rolling. I have a lot of people give me a lot of ideas for different things regarding the channel and stuff, but I struggle with that, and that's with the second the second channel, too, because I don't know why you guys are here, and that's how you know it's God, but it's kind of like I don't have the ego to go out here and do a a merch shop and i don't have the ego to go out here and create a, a fearfully created line or anything like that all those things would give us another lot of income but that's not what i'm here for if i was here for the money i would have been gone a long time ago because it is not easy to start up a youtube channel and even though god blew it up i still had to put the work in it and that's a sermon all in itself <laughs> you know god can do his thing and he can make it happen but it still always requires sacrifice on your part and work on your part and that's not to toot my own horn because i'm not saying like oh i've worked so hard to get where I am on here, but money isn't there when you first start YouTube, and money isn't there for a really long time. A, a substantial amount of money <laughs> isn't there. Blink, Shane, blink. <laughs> for, <laughs> for, a substantial amount of money isn't there for a really long time. So, like, that's not why I'm here. So, all that stuff would give us extra income. It would help, you know, get land. I get people saying a lot, like, we should do sponsors just to put back the money back for land that we're wanting because we really want land. But Fearfully Created isn't just a YouTube channel to me. It's a ministry in its own in its way. And that kind of word is a little iffy, and people kind of, like, cringe at that these days. But it really is, like, God's work through me, and God's work through me is defined by ministry. And I don't want to get ministry and money mixed that's how that's how you get in you don't want ministry mixed with ministry ministry yes hey. motivational shame i told I you i'm telling you i don't want it to be about me and so that's why you know a lot of times in the love on two feet series i get the christians come out boy and they're like don't do this without uh letting your other hand know what you're doing and you're doing this all for clout and you're doing this for yourself first of all that is only one thing that I do um, that I show you guys. Nobody knows what I do in the background, and nobody will know. That's between me. Shane don't even know half time. And if he does know, <laughs> it's because we share a bank account. <laughs> so, like, I, I that's just one thing. If that's all I did is one of those Love on Two Feet episodes, if that's all I did for God, I, I would be, you know, I would be in a in trouble because that's that's not what I do. I don't do that for that. But when I don't get the Christians coming at me and stuff over that, it's a, why, you should do this for money, and you should do this for, for income, and you should, and then they would go in, and they would say, Marina, you're so awesome, and Marina, uh, you're, you're such a good human, and those comments, it's not like they bother me, because they're, they're so kind, but those comments kind of put the focus on me in those videos, and that's why I try really hard to separate is I don't want the focus on me and I appreciate that that you know people love me and they want to encourage me by words of affirmation and I love that because that's one of my love languages I have several 
but I don't want the focus to be on me. So like when I'm doing something like that and I'm doing something for my home and stuff, I don't want to just be told, oh, Marina, you're awesome. Marina, you're awesome. You're Marina, you're awesome. Because I, I don't want that to be the center of why I'm doing this. You know what I mean? Like I kind of, I try not to be uncomfortable with stuff like that, but it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it's hard because, um, you, anybody on this earth is capable of losing focus on something and you put money in there and you put numbers in there and you put all these different things in there. I, I'm just like anybody else. I don't want to lose sight of why I started YouTube. And the minute I lose sight of why I started YouTube will be the minute I have to leave. And I don't want to leave. I, I want I want to stay focused on the task that God has given me to take care of. And I want to do that until I die. Whether it be on YouTube, off YouTube, in, I don't know, a bathroom. I could be writing scripture on a bathroom stall. <laughs> I'm sure that's a ministry he's given that somebody. That would be graffiti. <laughs> maybe not. But maybe just like, <laughs> maybe, maybe notes in the, you know, I'm serious. He'll tell you to do some wild stuff and you'll be like, is that you or was that something I ate last night? Like, <laughs> is that pizza on mine? Like, is that a pizza dream <laughs> or was that you, Lord? Like, I've said that so many times. Said that so many times. <clears throat> I love The Chosen. That's a good show. Do your kids go trick-or-treating? No, they don't go trick-or-treating. Um, not for reasons that you would think. We don't celebrate Halloween, but I do let them get dressed up and stuff like that. I do do that. Um, and, you know, it, think, cartoon characters, stuff like that. But I'm terrified because we've had some issues in our community and in this area of Tennessee where it's not safe to let your kids just get yeah. ca random candy from random people. And even in the best-looking neighborhoods, there have been things happen, and I just I'll, I don't even... <clears throat> I don't even go to the hand Halloween candy section and give them that candy like we usually do something, you know. Yeah, our, our fall I celebrations inspect, go from like pumpkin patches. Yeah, and I hay expect rods and their stuff candy like, that, like so, yeah. crazy though, like the kinds that we get from the store and stuff. Yeah. You just, you just don't know. I mean, that people can do sure. the weirdest. Somebody things. brought up the dogs. I was like, oh yeah, we have dogs. <laughs> People can do their back here sleeping. People can do the weirdest things. It's not, you know, it's not safe. What you doing, baby? You okay? You need help. It's just, it's, we don't, we used to celebrate Halloween. Um, yeah, and somebody, you know, uh, we used to celebrate Easter uh, a different way too. And one of you guys said something. I don't even know if you're still here because it's kind of a trolley comment. But they said, and this is why troll importance are troll comments are important to me. I was talking about Easter and how I don't let my kids celebrate the Easter bunny stuff on the actual day of Easter. And I wasn't saying, oh, you should do that too. I was just saying that's not how I do it. And they said, but you celebrate Christmas, uh, like the Christmas presents and Christmas tree thing on Christmas Day, like on actual Christmas Day. And I was like, oh, you got me there. Like, I, you know, and I had to sit back and be like, you know, that was a whole war in my mind kind of thing. Because I was like, man, how do I answer that? Because you are totally right. <laughs> like you, And that's why it's good to have uh, different perspectives around you. So you're not just stuck in a bubble and you can hear different sides of things. Because it's important. You got. I always say this. You got to know what you know and why you know it. And when people, I was in ministry before I did YouTube. God actually called me out of the church to be on YouTube. Not like out of the church completely. I still go to church, you know. <clears throat> every now and then but I was going church to church to church all over the east coast and one thing Shane told me this when I when I finished going to school seminary he said you gotta know I was afraid because so many theologies were coming at me left and right and it was like I it was confusion and you know God is not the author of confusion he says that so I was like man I knew the scripture but it's like you get on Google and you Google 10, okay, you Google can paint make you, in the eye, make you go blind. And you will find 10 articles of how paint in your eyes can make you go blind. And then you'll find 10 articles on how paint in your eyes improve your eyesight. That's what it's like being a Christian now on social media. Everybody is a theologian and everybody knows their stuff. And they'll throw the fact that they have seminary under their belt. And they, they have so many hundreds of hours worth of study time and stuff like that. And it causes so much confusion. 
crushed because everybody believes they're right and they will fight you over that. <laughs> like if they think they're right, there's no humbleness, no, no wisdom in that at all. So I remember being so confused and Shane pulled me aside. It was outside the trailer here. And he said, the best advice I have for you is to know, are you open a chip bag? <laughs> he said, you got to know what you know and why you know it and be ready to stand on that. And, you know, without pushing it on people, like the fight in between theologians and, and the denominations. I can't stand that. Know what you know and why you know it. Be ready to put your flag down on something. Yeah, be ready to put your flag in there or something. And don't just run with the next big theology, uh, you know, thing that's trending right now. Because, hold on, my feet are asleep. Y'all are about <laughs> to get a crusty foot up in the camera. All right, there we go. I did it without. But there are so many people who they'll be like, we just discovered this about the Bible. and Or this is what this really means. Or this is what... you got to know what you know and why you know it. And you got to know the context behind it because context is so important. And that comes in line with uh, studying hey, to show dude. yourself approved. Study to show yourself approved. I'm going to have chips, baby. Hey, it's okay. We're still here, Amanda. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Well, a few dudes in the house, I imagine. Oh, dude in the house. Wait, we got a... Hey, Chad, what's up? <laughs> Shane, you got, you got a friend in here. <laughs> what? There's another dude in the house. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, that is, that is right. Like, a lot of people also, they villainize you. Um, so, like, people... In ministry they get so mad and i've seen it with my own eyes oh y'all i have some stories and we'll get into that on the podcast but they'll get mad you can actually see that anger bullying up in them whenever you have a differing opinion when it comes to bible related subjects they get so mad and you can see like you're you're getting something stirred up in them and it's not a good something it's a, you know god has the fruit of the spirit's not a coconut as my kids would say <laughs> yeah. fruit of the spirit ain't coconut it's love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control and if you're not showing me those attributes if you're not showing me those things right there those those things then i have to question what's motivating you behind this emotion like that's what i do like behind the emotions that's how I can deal with hate comments so well. I know I'm not dealing with that person. I'm dealing with a source behind that emotion. I've stirred something up in there. Same with me, because I get angry too, without a cause. And that's a sin, be angry without a cause. That's just, you know. So like, I, I do that too. It's something we all gotta work on. This, the bad territory is when you get into those conversations and you belittle another fellow Christian you uh, talk down to a fellow Christian. And it's usually you, based on differences of, you know. Of opinion. Of opinion and stuff like and, that. And you make that person feel less of a person. And they walk mm. away feeling empty whenever a conversation between two believers should be the total opposite. Yeah. You should be walking away encouraged. Your cup filled yeah. up to the brim running over. It should yeah. never be a battle because we don't we don't battle with flesh and blood. We don't battle with our own. When we do, that's how the devil keeps us distracted. Like, yeah. if he can have us bickering in our little area right here, we're not being productive. We're not out there doing the things God has called us to do. We're not out there being the light. We're not out there being the light, a beacon on a hill. We're not out there doing nothing. They're just out there looking in here, seeing Christians bickering at each other and yeah. tearing each other down. When in reality, the bridge that binds us should be love. Yep. Yep, yep. It's the greatest commandment. Greatest commandment. I mean, the greatest of these. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, you know. <laughs> Somebody was asking what kind of chips I was eating. That's why I was doing that. <laughs> what, what kind is that? It's a cheddar and sour cream. They're really good. Oh, me all by me. She's trying her best to get some. Oh. Pass the chips after minute. you're done. You guys have a chip. Uh, you, Tater. We have been married how many years? I said it wrong the other day. Almost 13. We have almost 13. Mm -hmm. I got a loogie, y'all. Hold on. <coughs> I'm eating. What's that have to do with me having a loogie? It's disgusting. Don't have, I can't do that every day of my life. <laughs> Not when you're on live. <laughs> Show Shane's art. I'll get some here in a minute. I'm trying to get him to do something with his art. 
the podcast is fearfully created podcast it don't have anything on it right now but it will i promise i've been um podcast wait podcast demon possession stories for october oh man see the podcast <clears throat> isn't going to be kids friendly because not only are there going to be things in my past that we're diving into i mean laying it all out there in hopes that it helps somebody somewhere but it's also going to have things like that in it uh i was in the deliverance ministry i still am and it can it you wouldn't believe shane has been there to see some of it you would not believe um the things that i've seen and we'll talk about that we'll talk about that uh on there Cash saver. We that's priceless. Mm -hmm. I think it's the same brand as Cash Saver though. I think so. They're really good though. Sometimes when you get uh, sour and cheddar cream sh chips, sometimes they're just kind of bland. These aren't. They're really good. I've been talking a lot, so I want you to start talking and go. I don't think anyone wants to hear me talking right now. But <laughs> these are chips. They're orange. They're really good. They have a cheddar flavor. <laughs> Forty-two years. Holy moly! Sherry, that is all. That's something to be proud of. Twenty years. Uh, Twenty years. Oh my goodness! I'll show some art. I promise. Let me um eat some of these and guzzle down some water. Hey, miscellaneous mama. Good night. He is. He is never wrong, and he has never failed, and he always lines up with the word. Always. Hey, somebody. Somebody's trying to get you. It said, it's corn. A big lump of nuts. It has a juice. It has a juice. I, I get corn. sung at least three times a day. It's, I can start it off with, it's corn. And my kids come in and they, <laughs> they come in and they start singing it. I don't think he, do you, you don't want to sell your art, do you? You just, he wants to, just I've been trying it. to talk him into doing a YouTube channel. It's just time, is you know. But I don't want him to do a YouTube channel and yeah. like do like I don't know, art, not even tutorials, just like draw, cause you like to draw. Yeah, I'm thinking of some stuff. Um, I just get a, I get enjoyment out of people like enjoying my art. If that, if that doesn't sound conceited, <laughs> I just like it. <laughs> I used to in high school. Sorry. In high school, I used to draw like little comic books, and all the students of the school, I turned them into animals. Like it was like walking, talking, kind of like Looney Tunes stuff. And I draw them, and sometimes only three or four kids would read it, and they'd all get a good laugh out of it, and that was enough for me. Sometimes they'd pass it around, and it'd go from one kid to the next, to the next, to the next. And that was always just serotonin right there. <laughs> By the way, Serotonin. I'm nicknamed this and Dopey because she's my dopamine. Apparently, I'm freaking people out with the way I don't blink. I didn't realize that I don't He's blink. He's an animatronic. <laughs> I that's, am not That's real. how I snagged him. He's an <laughs> animatronic. <laughs> I got him at Build-A-Man. <laughs> hey. Oh, that, that leads me into a story. So, whenever I was in, like, eighth grade, I went to uh, Gatlinburg with my family and we were walking up and down the strip and we stopped at Build-A-Bear and because I think my sister wanted to make something in there I can't remember and me and my nephew Jake walked over to the machine and this place you have to realize Build-A-Bear looks kind of like it's from Chuck E. Cheese and you know how Chuck E. Cheese you can touch all these gadgets and gizmos and stuff well we see these machines and we think oh it's Press buttons and stuff. So we started pressing buttons and turning wheels and stuff. Apparently, that wasn't for us to do. That was for the employees <laughs> to do. There was stuffing flying everywhere in the store, and they banned me and Jake from Build a Bear. Wait, for real? For mm -hmm. how long? I don't know, because we've walked in there before. So, like I said, I was in eighth grade, so. You're a changed human. <laughs> Me and Yuri. Oh, uh, by the way, I was reading a comment. <laughs> Shane is a deep By fake. natural witch. And that means the world to me, by the way. She's talking about how she's not a Christian, but she's still there. And she'll be there with the podcast. That's my favorite kind of friends. Because we don't have to believe the same thing. I wish we did. But we don't have to in order to be friends. Make peace with all men. A lot of us Christians forget that part. 
That's a really good one. Orlando and help us with our renovation. Listen, I want <laughs> to do that so bad. I want to come help you guys with that so bad. I want to do it free of charge, though. So I'm thinking about getting something started to where we could do that. Be because cool. I don't want to charge people to come in and transform their home. I don't I don't want to charge you guys for nothing if I don't have to. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I would love to get some non-profit going or something. <clears throat> Build-A-Bear is expensive. We went with Colton to get him one a few years back. He had to get a Pokemon one. And that, not, it still smells like birthday cake, though. Yeah. And that thing was pretty expensive. Of course, too, Colton goes in with the pure uh, adrenaline. It was, we got to get the Pokemon, then we got to get the shirt and the pants and the shoes and everything for it. Oh. Y'all, so, if my eye's traveling, I'm so sorry. I can't see because the chat hey, is covering up my, when it comes to your children watch TV movies. Um, it, we monitor it like any other other parents. Like, we monitor their, their TV and stuff. Um, but just... Not for all things, but definitely we don't want violence. Um, like, heavily violence. I don't like that. It's an iffy situation, though, because this is something we can talk about. Shane and I see those things too, too different in two different ways. So, like, Shane's okay with some violence and stuff like that. And I'm, I would rather there be none. So, that's one thing. I, I get asked a lot if we disagree on things. That's something that we disagree on when it comes to parenting. He's a lot more lenient uh, than I am about certain things. And then I'm a lot more lenient about some things than he is. Now, I will sit here and say this, though. Is, like, especially with new stuff, a lot of times I'll go in and watch something before the kids watch it and I'll monitor it. Um, if, if it says, uh, GD is a word I don't play with. So if it says that, it's a no go. I, I don't even watch it if it says that. I don't, I don't read it. I don't, because it's just disrespectful to me. So like that is always a no go. Even Shane, Shane feels the same way about yep. that though. Like if we hear that, then it's automatically off. Um, and we try to look that up on a parental thing online before we watch a, fa a movie together as a family. Hater. That's just out of a respect thing to, to God, because I, I don't, um, yeah. you know. But, yeah, we do. It, would we get married again? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I asked um, you that the other day. What, he wants to renew my vows, but I got married in Coca-Cola pajamas the first time. I'd have to do that again. Somebody was saying and something I would about come a down the picture. aisle. <laughs> I, I was in my pajamas for my wedding picture, but I'd come down the aisle that it's corn. I mean, I saved that, actually. There's a TikTok, a wedding, uh, it's corn, and I saved it, just in case we got married again. Yep. What's your opinion? Wait. What's my Christians on people, what's my opinion on Christians who say they're Christians but don't live it? You will know them by their fruits, the Bible says that, but also, I don't, I'm not going to pick apart their life, because people could look at me in an area of my life where I'm lacking, mm -hmm. And if they judge me off that one particular area, then I would not be a Christian to them. Um, so I tried not to, I, I try to get the beam out of my own eye because it's so big, y'all. <laughs> like, I try to get that beam out of my eye before I, I look into anybody's. Um, but, you know, the Bible does say you'll know them by their fruits. Are they, are they, do they love people? That's what I, do they love people? Do they, you know, it's not even a thing of do they, I just try not to judge, I guess you could say. And that sounds so cliche, and that's why I try to find other words outside of the do not judge. Because you say that now, everybody's like, do not judge, and don't judge me, and only God can judge me. And so it's become this cliche thing. That's really how I feel, though. You know, I try to lead by example in a lot of things. But even I myself, like, I have issues that I'm still working on. And it will be like that until the day that Jesus takes me home. <laughs> because, I, you know, I'm a human. Your kids seem so well behaved, which I know you don't show when they are, but are, what are some parenting discipline tips you have? My kids, we always get compliments on them, like at the restaurants and stuff. We don't discipline, um, we don't, we don't use force or anything like that when we're disciplining them. So usually <laughs> their, their discipline is getting a long but conversation. <laughs> Sometimes they'll get the, uh, if it's a, a little spat between them, they get the hug it out shirt, which yeah. is a big gigantic shirt that they're <laughs> stuck in. But we don't, we don't like use force or anything no. because, uh, you know, 
my kids are a direct reflection of me and there are so many like it if i can't get on here and i can't discipline them for being messy and stuff like that because they have learned that from me that's learned behavior and so i don't have anybody breathing down my neck all day except for myself saying marina you need to do better marina you're getting your phone taken away if you don't do this and do it the right way the first time and stuff so i try to show them grace where i'm shown grace and I, I don't show myself grace, but God does, and Shane does, and you guys do. And so I try to mimic that um, with them. My kids and I, we have a really good relationship. And I, it's not just because I'm their friend. I do, I do, they are my best friends. But it's not just because I'm their friend. I do have my parenting moments where I have to come in if a situation gets out of hand and I have to deal with it like a parent and not a friend. But I try to respect them over anything you know like and not expect too much from them because i know i making sure they have a voice too yeah yeah making sure here that actually hearing them not asking them how they feel about something and then it going in in it, one area and out the other but hearing what they have to say it's easy to you know when they're getting rowdy it's easy at first you just kind of want to get frustrated but then you have to realize okay why are they getting rowdy let's find out the reason let's ask them you know and a lot of times when they realize, okay, I can sit here and I can talk to mom and dad, we're calm, you know, and everything, and we can get more to the bottom of what's going on. Yeah. And that's And important. my kids and I, like, now where we've been so honest with each other, they're, they know they can be honest with us. So when they tell me they don't hit, like, let's say that there's a squabble in the trailer park. There's always a squabble in the trailer park. <clears throat> always. Let's say there's a squabble <laughs> in the trailer park, and somebody comes up <clears throat> and accuses my kid of hitting them. Well, first, we have cameras <laughs> everywhere. But second, I, without even looking on camera, I can ask my kid, did you hit them? And they will tell me yes yeah. or no. Yeah. And if it's a yes, we deal with it. It's never been a yes. My kids aren't violent no, ever. They, they don't even hit each other or nothing. Colton they've is never the bull. He'd yeah, rather sniff a flower. They've never done that. Um, that's one thing. Like I see a lot of small children, and like they they smack their parents and stuff. And I don't judge that. I just don't. I don't know how I would have handled that in that situation. And I don't see how they handle it because I, it's never have to. Be, it's never been something I have to deal with. But I can I can hear my kid out and then be like, okay, you know, they didn't do that because they said they didn't do that. And then of course the cameras back it up. <laughs> <clears throat> so um that i just try to respect them you know i want them to grow up and not have feel like they have to run away from home to get away from me <laughs> that would break my heart <clears throat> next big project is the girls bedroom it was actually supposed to be before the beams and that wall but shane surprised me with that for my birthday so we have everything we need. The girls did change. They changed their bed. Uh, they wanted a particular bed, and then it's a good thing we waited yeah. until after that because they changed their bed, and so we have Spend to get that and things. Then just trying to line up time to do it. And we have to get things um, for their new bed thing they want. Mandatory dance parties are also a great thing for kids. That'd be great <laughs> for like when, when it's one of those nights and they don't <laughs> want to go to sleep. Dance. They get their energy out, buddy, before bed. I can't wait for it either. I'm so excited. They they told me what they want. And, see, they have loved that purple. They didn't even ask for us to change their bedroom for a long time. It was after, the, I think they saw the boys' room, and they saw how good it looked, and they just wanted to change. So I haven't pressured them to touch it because I like, you know, if they want to keep it that way, I'm not going to just go in there and do a makeover for a video's sake. So I didn't really, you know, kind of just edged around it and said, put it on the table. If you want it, then we'll do it. If not, then, you know. So it took them forever to figure out what they want. But I was scrolling. It wasn't Pinterest. What was I scrolling? <clears throat> uh, you were on a lot of different things. Uh, I can't remember what I was scrolling, but they saw a, a picture and they're like, "Ooh, I want something like that." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> you gotta be on Amazon where they have kind of the, like, was it? Like they'll have a picture of a bedroom. Like maybe you're buying a desk or something, and they'll have the bedroom. I think it was something like that, or it may have been Pinterest. It may have been Instagram. I can't remember. I don't scroll Instagram. <laughs> I get on there, do what I need, um, and... Keep reading, Shane. <laughs> Am I doing it again? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Y'all, Shane, we need to scroll up, because... What? 
it's going too fast. They're it's, talking about they're way back then. That's what I'm saying. It's it's been like usually two conversations. Behind. Some of them, some of you guys are are real time, but some of them are going back and they're talking about stuff we were talking about. I don't know how long yeah. have we been live. Well, it may also an hour ago. Maybe uh, I just got a. Maybe some people, if they got into it, maybe it's put them in a different. I just area got it. I made it. It within one minute. Huh. Oh, it might be. I tried putting it in slow mm -hmm. mode. Hmm. Huh. See, I can do top chat, but that only shows some messages. Huh. Oh, they said it repeats. So I'm assuming it cycles through, maybe. Hey, Brandy! <laughs> we are actually friends. What's he talking about? <laughs> photo. It's his photo bomb. <laughs> oh, my baby. I got Tater directly behind me. Yeah, she's laid up on Shane's <laughs> shoulders. That's a baby. <clears throat> Have a meet and greet. Howdy. How would we do a meet and greet, though? Oh, my, me and my tattoos. This one right here. Can't see it. Come on. It's like a, <laughs> buying a sausage back there. <laughs> it says, Baby Grill, love you forever and always, Nanny. And it's from a card, a letter and a card that Nanny wrote me. And she always spells girl wrong because she, I forget what grade she went to, but she always spells girl as grill. And so I said, you know you love somebody when you put their misspelling on your arm. But she wrote you a birthday card this year. This year. And, and I, it was spelled correctly. And it almost broke my heart. Because yep. every year up to now, it's always been grill. Um, this key is a matching key. Somewhat matching. Um, these are for my papa. My papa uh, that raised me, he used to <laughs> people watch <laughs> with binoculars. It was his favorite pastime. And um, I, I had to have something that reminded me of him because... He was the MVP. He is the only good male influence I had in my life. The only one. Besides you. I oh, yeah, what about to say? I meant until hey. you. <laughs> but until Shane, he is the only good male influence. Every other male messed me up. <laughs> but then this one, there's two meanings to this one. Um, the first one is really personal in between a friend and I. And then after I got it, some things happened and I was sitting there one day and I was like, man, I got that for the wrong reason. And so Dear Slim is actually from the Eminem song, Dear Slim, my tears gone cold. <laughs> I'm wondering why I got out of bed at all. <laughs> but it's actually Dear Slim. It's an opening letter to my skinny self when I mess things up and it's, it's to be continued, like not actually continued, but like here I look at this and I'm like, dear Slim. And then I can I can say to myself what should have been said to me back then that wasn't said to me. You know. It's a note to my it's an open letter to my skinny self, who was a butthead. But how do you budget together I'm, I'm as a couple? Some taters. <coughs> we so we have one bank account together and then we have different savings accounts. But we just I keep up with what's in there. Shane don't know what's in there half the time. <laughs> you ask him and he's like, I don't how much right now? <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> I keep up with how much is in there. And then I keep up with like the envelope system and all that stuff. Uh, I think people think when I say do the envelope system that you have to have like hundreds of dollars to put in all these different envelopes. When in reality, like you don't. It can be a dollar. You can just put Maybe like, 50 cents. we do five. Sometimes we've done five dollars a month. It can be know? a change jar. Seriously. The, uh. Was it the laundry room the first time? I did five dollars a month on that. It took forever, but it finally it finally got done. Nanny is my rock. Me and Nanny had it rough for a long time. Nanny raised me with my papa, and uh, it, I had apart from outside situations and things that happened to me outside of the, the home. Chat? I don't know. Two thousand people. Apart yeah. from things that happen to me outside of the home, because like a lot of my trauma comes from outside of the home, from the age zero to twelve. So nanny and my papa raised me, and when my papa died, 
I thought I was literally going to leave this world. I really did. Because he was everything to me. I mean, everything. He was my dad. Like, he had, I came home to him. Like, he raised me. So, when that happened, uh, it, it got rocky between me and Nanny. Me and Nanny, uh, I still lived with her, but it was just like a back and forth kind of thing. I was flip-flopped there for a while. I didn't know where I was going to end up. But Nanny got remarried and moved away from where I was born. And so it got really rough. And me and Nanny didn't get back to being close like we were until after I left home with yeah. Shane. Because um, that situation, it wasn't a very Everybody good situation. Everybody just needs a little Shane in their life. That's all it is. That situation wasn't a very good situation either. Um, I think I accidentally hit something. Oh. Oh, uh, okay, there it is. Okay. Um, I, I think I fixed it. Yeah, I think you did. But uh, I, that the situation in between me and Annie was really, really, really rough until I got pregnant with Colton. I left and I got pregnant with Colton. And then it got better. And, and we kind of created what we had before Papa died and all the madness went down. We kind of recreated that. So Nanny... She raised me, and even when things weren't good, she gave me a roof over my head, and she gave me food, and she tried her... She was going through a lot, too, so she tried her best to take care of me, and I'll always honor that because there was a point in my life where if Nanny hadn't have taken care of me, nobody would have. I'd have been on, I'd been on the street, probably. So uh, it, it wasn't always easy, though, but she is the MVP. She really is. <clears throat> <laughs> they said, now we all have a little shame in our life. My dental issues are, oh. So, this one, we decided to do his mouth first. You want to show me your teeth? Have you brushed them? You just hmm? got done eating orange chips. No, no I brush them <laughs> so, twice daily. Originally, I was supposed to already have new teeth by now. I was supposed to have dentures by now. But the dentist, Shane, you want to tell him that you had never been to the dentist before? I had never been to the dentist before, ever. Um, for the most part, uh, my entire childhood, teenage years and everything, my teeth had no problems. I didn't have cavities, didn't. But he had never been to the dentist before. Never he been to the was, dentist. 34. And, yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, I finally went and I was like a little five-year-old sitting in that chair. I was like, there's needles everywhere. But we did, because his teeth looked so good, you know, from the outside, we didn't <clears> expect him to have as many issues as he had. And they, how many feelings did you have to have? Uh, 13. It took a lot. And then they were doing some other things, too. So 14. 14. You have right now in your mouth like $8,000 of work. Yeah. And over half of that was put back for mine. But because we started his first, I wanted to finish his first. So now I've got, I still got the envelope going for mine. Um, I have the envelope. Right now I got envelope going for my teeth, uh, for Binks and Tater Spay and Neuter, uh, which those are almost, no, Tater's is ready to go. Ready to go, yeah. He's knocking on the door. Hold on a second. Oh. oh. If it's Phyllis, I'm going to poop my pants. <laughs> Tater. Tater. But his, he doesn't. Who is it? <laughs> I don't know who it is. <laughs> I'm waiting because I don't know who it is. It wasn't Phyllis. It wasn't. It was our other neighbor. They were just wanting to say hi. Oh, <laughs> oh, we should have brought them on in. Well, they, they didn't want to bother you. I told them that you were doing that. You told me I was in the live street. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sound like such a nerd. I'm so they can hurry up and watch. I'm going to sound like such a nerd. I, listen. Back in the day, before I, because now we have like cameras and stuff, we can tell who it is. But back in the day before then, I would do the inchworm underneath, and I would go under, and I would have one kid poke their head out and look out one door, and the other one poke their head out, head out and look at the other one, and that's how I'd find out who it was, and I would answer the door based on who it was. <laughs> Come, now, contrary. I caught, the, I caught the very end of that. I just contrary. heard you saying that you do the inchworm. Yeah, contrary to popular belief, I am an introvert. I am. Tater. Tater. 
Yeah. Until um, I see one of you guys. And when I see one of y'all in public, I become the biggest extrovert. <clears throat> annoying extrovert. You're not annoying. Don't talk badly about yourself. You're not annoying. Thou shalt not lie. I'm not lying. You're I don't know annoying. myself that considers me to be at that. No, you're being friendly. I would rather somebody be no, friendly me. than... Yeah, but uh, see, see, this is why I struggle with. This is why I got to be careful. Because not everybody wants a, hey, I love you, in their face. You know what I mean? Like, I would run if somebody did that to me. I would prefer. Not really, but. I would prefer that, seriously, somebody would just be nice <laughs> and happy. What are you doing? He's pointing his finger at you. <laughs> what? Finger. Finger? Wait, what do you want my finger for? What? I'm an incredible walking zombie. <laughs> okay. I love you. I love you. Yeah, girl. that's why my octave went uh, whoop, when I heard a knock. Because I was like, we get quiet just in case. Oh, I'm a very social introvert. I think the comments have lined up again. I'm a very social introvert. Because, uh, oh man. Uh, financial journey from when we first started marriage we were dirt poor did not have a dollar to our names we actually couldn't even after getting married we couldn't uh hold on let me get hey you got him situated shane you want water you want me to see the comic book my baby's comic book it's rockhead <laughs> He spelt that, by the way. I know. Okay. <clears throat> oh, so sorry. Tater, you're driving cats bonkers. Um, but I'm trying to uh, keep an eye on my kiddos. Come here. And my dogs. But, so when Shane and I first got married, don't do that. You're going to break the couch and I'm going to get blamed for it by a troll later. <laughs> Did you just say I'm going to break the couch? <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> financial journey from marriage. Oh, financial. So, we got married. We actually yeah. could not move in with each other after we got married. We were married for uh, a couple of months yeah. without being together, actually, because we couldn't afford nowhere. So, we didn't even have a dollar to our name. Shane worked at Walmart back then. Yeah. And back then, you didn't make a whole lot of money at Walmart. I don't know about now, but back then, you did. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't a lot. And we made financial disastrous decisions like we we put ourselves in a whole it was so a lot bad. of you know how you hear of trial and error it was error and error and error we couldn't even get ahead we were on food stamps for a lot of the time um we were you know a lot of a lot of things it wasn't good yeah. but a couple of years ago a few years ago about when we moved here Mm -hmm. things started turning around. Yeah. And I learned that not every penny coming in had to be spent. And a lot of times people will say, like, I love Dave Ramsey, but a lot of times he can make you feel bad because I remember watching him back then and I would feel bad because he would say, um, you're just bad at saving money. If you don't have money to save, you're just bad at managing mm -hmm. money. And that's not the case. It's not, all, it's not always a money management problem. Sometimes there's just not enough money coming in. And Sometimes every dollar, it's hard to kind of get started. Yeah, every dollar know. has a home, though. Sometimes yeah. when you're on one income or you're on a low income, even a dual income house on a lower side, sometimes it's not a bad it's not you're bad at managing money there's just not enough money coming in there's yeah. not there's no money to manage so we had to like get over that hump to where first of all i did make really bad money decisions um you did too <laughs> we both <Yeah>. did <laughs> But, like, we both made really bad made decisions. But apart from that, we really didn't have a lot of money coming in to make any better decisions. It was always a choice between, you know, water, electric. You know, water, yeah. we'd always need help from somewhere. Yeah. Um. So, we had to just learn that once we started getting bigger income coming in, then that's whenever we could actually put money aside. And you almost have to get yourself out of the mindset of every dollar needs a home because you've lived like that for so long. So you have to remind yourself that not every dollar ha needs a place to go, you yeah. know. Just because you have $42 in, this, in the checking account right now doesn't mean you need to go to Dollar General and stock up on things with that $42 yeah. if you already have that stuff. You know what I mean? 
it doesn't mean that um, now that you have $42, you have 16 Starbucks trips, you know, out of that. That, put it back. And it sucks at the time. It really sucks saving money. But the spending the money, that part will make you want to do it all over again. Yeah. So, like, I don't like <laughs> saving money and putting it in envelopes. Who does? I don't like you to know, do that. I mean, but. But I can see throughout my home. <laughs> how saving has actually impacted like it it's you really sit back and you're like wow i could have never done this stuff half this stuff if i hadn't have saved in the envelopes you know if i hadn't have used money the right way somebody said attack dogs attack and dogs like, <laughs> yeah doing? those are a couple of attack dogs back there i yeah i, I there's no way i can't save um digitally but cash envelopes really help you because it's, it's cash you know it's yeah. moving through your hands you can tell how much is spending how much you're you know using and stuff you go and you buy a lot of stuff at dollar general you swap that card you don't think much about it unless you're a marina in 2014 and then you're like crap <laughs> we just went no sufficient fun fee here i come whoops <laughs> <laughs> but you don't think much about it when you slide that card but when you get the money out and you see how much you have in your hand and you're looking and you're you're budgeting in your mind like you realize how much money you spend on unnecessary stuff not always but but sometimes yeah um bulk shopping is really good but i i do it's, have issues with bulk shopping yeah i think i have issues with weekly shopping too though yeah. i mean the hard part about bulk shopping is Finding a place to put it all. That is, when you live in a single thing, lot, that is a problem. That's that's difficult. And then also too, like, um, I don't know. That was. And I'm not I'm not a financial advisor, so nobody go think I have it all figured out. Because there's still some things I need to work on. But it's I have life. learned. It's you learn. I have learned to go. save money over yeah. the last few years, and it and it has helped us so much. You don't have to worry about what happens if. You know, you get a flat tire, and you're worried about how you're going to pay for a new tire. Like, and that, yeah. you have a savings fund to fall back on. That that means a lot. Yeah. And I think another thing that you have to, like, kind of put into perspective when when saving and stuff like that, uh, going back to what we were talking about a minute ago. <laughs> I, I just now thought about this. I'm sorry. Um, but you know how, like, it's a matter of sometimes, too, you need to, like, it's always hard when you have to choose <coughs> what you want and what you need. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it can be difficult. And, like, you have to be able to put the want to the side. You know what I'm saying? And it's hard. And, and you know, that's that's part of growing up. You know, that that's a grow-up thing right there. It's like knowing, you know, I'm going to set the need or the want over here and focus on the need. You know, that, that was a... <laughs> that was, Bible that was, studies. I don't... Even though, uh, like I said, I, I have I have hundreds of hours of Bible study time. It's my one, it's my favorite pastime, and there are times in my life where I spent months waking up at four o'clock in the morning and studying the Bible until Shane left at like eight o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning, and then I would get the kids started and continue to study the Bible throughout the day. So, like I, I'm set in what I believe. But I still feel like, first of all, I don't do a very good job at communicating. When I do get into Jesus talk, I do get a little bit more easier to understand. Like, I get, I become more fluent. But I don't feel like I'm a good candidate to do Bible studies. I feel like you would learn more from somebody else, if that makes sense. But I'm always here to give you my opinion on Scripture and my opinion on, on different theologies and yeah. stuff like that. I'm always here if you guys have those questions. Um, or, or if, if you just want my opinion on a thing that happened, you want to know my take on it. That's what the podcast is a lot about. We're going to be going, corn, ah, <laughs> we're, going, we're going to be going into my past, into Shane's perspective of my past, my perspective of my past. We're going to be going into how we found Jesus, both of us, um, separately. We're going to be going into our take on, on certain Bibles, so, scripture. So, like, the podcast is going to be a lot about, um situations that have occurred yeah. and ways we found Jesus in those situations. But it's also going to be like scripture and stuff, my take on it. Yeah. And I, I, I just want that to be known and out there. Like 
it's it's sometimes it's it's just if you were in my brain. There is um there's also too there's a take that you will have sometimes on scripture, and then there's sometimes the way Jesus will illuminate the scripture and give you a completely different perspective on a scripture. Like you you may hear a, a scripture your whole life and it's preached a certain way, and it doesn't mean that just because it's preached that way it's not right or anything like that, but then all of a sudden, Jesus would be like, I'm, I'm going to take this scripture, and I'm going to flip it backwards, and I want you to look at it like this, and you're like, I never thought of that, you know, yeah. it's you things like that. You can read the same scripture 10 million times and get, uh, is that corn? I think that's a squirrel. Oh, that's a squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> they made you do it. <laughs> squirrel! <laughs> but you can get like 20 different things out of it. Um, oh, oh that, that means so much to me. What was, who was that? It said... Come on. There was one that said they don't believe, but they'll listen. KGC, that means the world to me. This is the fact that y'all listen to me, and that means the world to me. And I'll listen to you, too. I'm set in what I believe. Jesus is the light of my life, but I'll listen to y'all day long. I think that's where you find your your maturity and your and how you're grounded, is if you can sit and listen to someone's different belief all day long. I can sit and listen to you talk about, and this is this is taboo with the Christians. <laughs> I, I've said it before, and I've had people sprint out the church door, but I can sit there and listen to you all day long, and it's not going to affect me because I'm not driven by anger, yeah. um, and I know what it's like to believe in something else. I wasn't always a Christian. And we all have our different paths that we're on. Yeah. That lead oh, yeah. us to Jesus. Yeah. That's and so, you know, my foundation is Jesus. You know, my foundation is Jesus, no matter who I'm talking to, whether they be, you know, of any other um, denomination or belief, religion. I don't consider myself to be in a religion. Um, I'm, not, I'm not religious at all, actually. But I'll, I'll sit there and listen to you all day long because at the end of the day, I'm grounded in Jesus. And at the end of the day, I still believe Jesus is the only way. Um, but that doesn't mean that I can't be your friend and I can't listen and I can't have peace with you and I can't hear what you have to say. The minute your voice becomes invalid to me is when I need to check myself. Yeah. I can't just say, oh, I won't hear it because I believe this. Because you're a person and you have beliefs and you have emotions, you have feelings. Yeah. It's important to me. I value you not just because we have the same belief system going on, but because you're a person and you deserve to be valued. Right on. Yes, Nanny is over that bug. She's over that bug. She's good. I, she actually wanted the kiddos today or tomorrow. I can't remember. She's going to take them one day this week. She wants to take uh, them. Tomorrow? The roof, she fixed the roof. Tell them how you did that because I have not. <laughs> oh, I just climbed up there and um, <laughs> so I, I climbed up there. And when I originally climbed up there a few months back and I was laying shingles, um, I didn't. On this side up here, uh, there was some shingles that I didn't, I guess you call it stack. Cause I'm not a shingle expert, but I didn't stack them properly. So I went back and I took all that up and I redid it completely. And then I went over it with sealant and everything. And it's holding right now. Thank you, We Jesus. haven't had, and it rained like crazy yeah. yesterday. So we're good. No problem. We're good. Yeah, I'll have guests. I don't know how I'll do that. We might not so like we have all the podcast material, but I don't know how to work that stuff. And I, that's also what's kind of holding me back a little bit. So it may just be us sitting here talking like this for the first few episodes until we get it all figured out. But yeah. it's going to happen regardless. I'm not going to let that hold me back from doing it any longer. Give, a, <clears throat> give us a shout out. Hey, Mindy and, Mindy Jason. and Jason. We love howdy, you guys. Howdy. We love you guys. Shane has shingles. Not that kind of shingles. <laughs> shingles on top, on the roof. <laughs> I was like, where are we at? <laughs> I, I missed the whole story plot. Like, what happened? <laughs> Let's see here. You have cat viewers. <gasps> Tell the cat, hi. Potato. Taters and corn. corn. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, I've always homeschooled the kids. Always, since Colton was five. It's going the girls' so room. Fast. The girls' room. Uh, let's see. What do we have this week? It'll probably be towards the end of next week that we do the girls' room. It won't take long though. Um, it'll probably take us, I'd say, three or four days. Taters and Mike. Two of those days being the weekend. 
listen, homeschooling is so fun. It's frustrating. Um, it, I'm not going to say it's all, you know, fun and games and stuff. It, it can be mentally overloading, but it is so worth it. The minute I realized what... I, I thought, you know, homeschooling would be cool, but the minute I actually taught one of my kids to read for the first time, and they actually read me a sentence that I taught them to read, like, <laughs> it blew my mind. I was like, oh, snap, we're doing this thing. <laughs> so, it's it, it can be, oh, just don't don't let the bad com times get you down, and don't let it ruin your relationship with your child. That's first and foremost. Um, don't ever let homeschooling ruin that, because then your ruined relationship with your child, whether it be for the time being or for whatever, will then ruin the homeschool. It'll just all be ruined. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I wish you lived close to me, too. I would love, I'd love to just have a community full of you guys. You don't meet a lot of people like you. The school system failed me massively. Um, I, not only on an, on an education level and academically, like academically, but it failed me on a what would you call that? Personal level? Like I, I almost DIED'd because school. Like I literally it was so bad. Like I didn't that, learn nothing uh, because I was getting tormented every day. <laughs> social? Would you call it a social? I, you failed you socially? I was man, who oh. <laughs> school yeah. was rough <clears throat> for me from I, I was telling Shane this the other day, you know, you you say that you want to homeschool to keep your kids from having the experience you had. And I know not my kids wouldn't have that experience just because I did. Just because I had it doesn't mean every kid's going to experience that. But the fact that I almost was gone because of that experience was enough for me to sit back and say, do I want to take that chance on my children? And it was a no. It was a no. I literally used to, from I'm talking from kindergarten up, had so many problems um, dealing with it wasn't only verbal abuse, like, I mean, physical abuse, um, things that you wouldn't believe happened under the school roof to me, and it just wasn't worth, I wasn't going to take the chance for my kids' futures, I wasn't going to do it, and I know, and I knew going in, I wasn't the most educated person, but I said, if we can do this curriculum, if I can do this, and I can go by this curriculum, I can do it, and my kids are above and beyond, curriculum wise um and it's not because i'm a good teacher it's because they're very driven children like they're they, receptive they're re yeah they're they're they want to learn they have a willingness to learn because it's not forced it's not put on a time crunch it's fun for them to learn not always they struggle in areas but education to them looks a lot different than education to some children from the public school system and and they thrive off of it but, yeah, it, the school system failed me. It really did. <clears throat> they they are so, they are sharp, man. Weight loss is going. Okay, so thyroid medication. Okay, so let's go over medication in a whole. Because I got a lot of questions yesterday about me saying I don't take ADHD medication. I know that there are some medications that are not habit-forming regarding ADHD. But I've, I've tried two of them. Yeah. One of them will start with an A. I can't remember though, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's not the it's not the habit forming one, but uh, they don't they don't they didn't do nothing for me, and so they were wanting to put me on the main medicine for ADHD, and I said no, <laughs> I ain't having that because I do come from a line of addicts, you know I I do come from people yeah they were want, no they didn't put me on that one. Alyssa, hi Alyssa. Hello. How you doing, girl? I saw that and I was like, oh, I want to catch <laughs> I'm that. I'm glad real you quick. caught that. It goes by so fast. I, I wish that I could see all of all of them, but we just bought a mobile home and it's being set up this week. Looking forward to. Oh, you're gonna love it. You are gonna love it. Listen, I wish everybody had could just live in a mobile home for once. Like, and just be able to look around and see the potential in them. Oh, man. Financially, you know, all the different reasons. I, I love living in a mobile home. I have nothing negative to say about it at all. Even space, you can accommodate that or fix it or how, whatever word I'm looking for that I can't find right now. <laughs> you got a green heart. Uh, green heart. <laughs> but um, what was I saying? Oh, they wanted to yeah. put me on that habit form of medication, and I said absolutely not. They actually brought that up quite a few times, and I said no because I do come from people – 
who are really big addicts. And I do have an addictive personality because somebody asked how weight loss is going. It's going good, but I, I am struggling with food right now. I had some down days. Um, I, you know, I haven't been depressed in many, many, many years. Um, if you guys have watched old Q&As, you know that a few years ago, uh, I was almost not here. And that, and when I say that, people think, oh, like 10 years ago or when I was in school. No, like just a few years ago, I was almost not here. So, I don't want to get on that right now. <laughs> I don't want to get on that right now. <laughs> um... What else was I talking about before that? That's what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this loogie off screen thing is killing me. Someone's rolling my sinuses. But I was having some low days, and um, my pick me up is Dopey back here. Dopamine. <laughs> She's my dopamine. Dopey and Sarah. <laughs> Dopey and Sarah for serotonin. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. No. Um, I have made a YouTube video about my testimony. It is a, well, some of it. It's a date night vlog. Um, but I will warn you guys, it, you know, I'm hesitant to, like, promote those videos because just because y'all are hopping in now and, like, you know me now and from my makeovers and stuff, it might punch you in the gut to know that I was like that before. So, I'm always hesitant to do it, but I know that God has a plan. And it was really hard for me. <laughs> to to give my testimony because I whenever he told me to give it he said be open about it don't hide anything don't sugarcoat it be honest and open because it's going to help somebody so that's what I did and it was really hard so it's really hard to promote that and and you know say oh go look at how bad I was <laughs> but there's always a plan in it and there's always a purpose so I do have some of them I, on the podcast that's why I say it won't be kid friendly because it will be about things that happened and details and situations and we're gonna go all in with that so I would say you know just be careful when you're watching the podcast um, of who's around you at that time because I don't want kids to be what's it called susceptible to that susceptible susceptible is what you're looking for yeah to that, but you know, without your approval, you know. Hey, somebody's husband is cooking taters. Make me some, please. Oh, we love you. Hey, oh, you're you're liable to see us at McKay's. No Subjected. Subject That's the word. There you go. Subjected. I wish I could put that in my mental library, because I always am looking for that word. Yeah. You know what's? Uh, you know what word I have a hard time with. Sonia, happy birthday. We love you. You know what? Uh, uh, I always, every time I try to remember it, uh, I'm already, I can't remember it. it. Demographic. For some reason, that word demographic eludes me. When I want to it use eludes. it. What does that word mean? Like it, it runs away. It It's not there. Every time I want to use it, I'm, I sit there and I'm like, what's that word? It starts with a D. Come on, what is it? Every time. And then when I don't want it, sure, I know it. See, I always make words, like, out of words, you know? <laughs> how do you make words out of words? I don't know. <laughs> That's how I get weird words. <laughs> like, my own vocabulary. And so instead of your foot going to sleep, no, it's foot shock. My, <laughs> oh, my rear end's hanging out. <clears throat> <laughs> howdy, Marisha. Hi! Howdy, howdy. What was our wedding like? Well, we going to the chapel. No, we got married in Nanny's living room. The yep. double wife she lives in now that y'all seen a hundred times, that's where we got married. We were impatient. Nanny married us. <laughs> yep. And I was in my coat go pajamas. Yep. <laughs> we were ecstatic when we ha we had to go get the, uh, <laughs> the marriage certificate. <laughs> you remember we At were, the courthouse? Yeah, we were excited about that. Yep. Um, we got, I got married in my Coca-Cola pajamas, though. And it was... We got married, and then we went to go get Taco Bell, didn't we? Taco Bell? Yeah, we left. I don't remember ever getting Taco Bell. Listen, right after we got married, I was pregnant with Colton. And I got... <laughs> you know what? I saw it in your eyes. <laughs> and I was pregnant with Colton. And I was really wanting a chicken quesadilla. Oh, my gosh. What I time of the night? I wanted one so bad. They what were, time of the night? They were still open. What time of the night? 
and we were, <laughs> we were, I wanted one really bad. He went and go get one. So it caused the fight of the century because I didn't give my quesadilla. And he knew then he had made a mistake. <laughs> um, Shane, Shane did that crit. Shane did that curriculum. The cur the reason we chose the curriculum is because Shane and I both did the curriculum. And Shane's smart. She he went to college to get more knowledge. <laughs> I did you try to rhyme that? <laughs> Future children, Shane. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> what? What? You just threw that at me. No, I didn't. No, like. We just had a conversation about that. Well, no, I meant more like, if it was possible, I'd be open for it. Way to make my ovaries feel sad. No, I don't mean to make you sad. That's not, no, I just mean like, I thought they were asking like, would I ever want more children? Not that's... So do you want me to have a reversal? What? No, you don't have <laughs> to do what? anything. You said what? I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. You did. I'm sorry. Forgive me. We okay. So whose idea was it to get my tubes tied, though? The doctors. <laughs> it was the doctors. They peer pressured. You they into did. It and you the went doctors. With it. The doctors pressured me hard to get my tubes tied, and it wasn't because of anything health related. I think it was because we were lower income back then, and you know. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know, but now you have me thinking. Like, am I? You don't have to think. You, you oh my think. goodness, y'all! <laughs> Why y'all gotta ask questions like that? I thought we were on the same page. We are on the same page. Page 37. Paragraph. My Christmas decor B. this year is going to be a lot of colors. Because I'm over. Y'all, I'm so over the Pinterest white. Um, I, I I love it. I think it's beautiful. That's not what I'm saying. But in my house, like, you just, we want it festive. We want it colors. And, yeah, mm. I regret it so jolly. bad. I regret getting my tubes tied so bad. I'll tell you this. If you are thinking of getting, you're crushing my foot. <laughs> if you're thinking of getting your tubes tied. He's, hi. What you doing? <laughs> you happy? How about you come down here with me? We'll just, we'll just nip that in the bud. Okay, so I, I will tell you this. If you're thinking of getting your tubes tied, please don't. Please don't. Especially if you're young. I was 24. Mm-hmm. 24 when I got my tubes tied. Please don't, because you will absolutely regret it. Absolutely regret it. Doors and doorsteps in the house. Did she really? Wait, hold on. I got to find her, because she is my favorite in the whole entire planet. Ain't nobody like Erica to me. I can't find her. I'm sure if you just go back down, she'll probably say something. No. No. Can't find her. I mean, like, I can't find her. <laughs> there she yeah, is. is. Erica from Door to Door Steps in the house. That, that it, it was really young to have my tubes tied. It was super young to have my tubes tied. Erica's in the house. Now all we need is Patrick. I don't that you can't. <laughs> The thing about it is, I think, you know, if we had been in a higher income, I don't think that they would have pressured it. But I remember them specifically saying that... Hey, Drake! Hey, Drake! I remember them specifically saying that they didn't think I, we could afford it anymore. So, my advice to you is be, you know, your own advocate. You won't always... You might not always be in that income bracket, and you might actually be... Um, in a better place a few years from now, you know, especially at 24, like nobody's going to stay where they're at at 24 years old, mm -hmm. income wise, you know, mentally, nothing like that. So I just wouldn't, is my homeschool pretty relaxed? It is, but it isn't. So like we do work every day for at least four hours, every single day, Monday through Friday. But I don't put my kids on a time crunch to be done with the grade level by a certain time. And that's what I was talking about earlier is they're just naturally done early with their grade levels now or done on time because it's not a chore for them. They're not stressed to get it done right then and there. They don't have time limits or anything like that. Um, so it isn't relaxed regarding to like workload like we do do work. But, as, but when it comes to like grade levels, things like that, 
I don't even really get in that stuff because that's how, you know, if your child is struggling in an area, like reading, there's a reason they're struggling in that area. And it's not always just a, oh, you need to do it faster. Sometimes they're legitimately struggling in whether it be, you know, reading front to back or getting their letters mixed up, maybe a form of dyslexia, things like that, that you really need to look at and take into consideration rather than just rushing them to get it done because they're not going to retain anything they learn at that fast of pace. That's why half the stuff you learned in elementary school, especially English, like third grade English, I can't remember none of it because it was so fast paced. Like it was get it done now, get it done now, get it done now. And it's coming. <laughs> Whoever has taken that bet, it's coming. <laughs> and and I, I, I didn't retain none of it because a, it wasn't it wasn't fun to be rushed like that. I was under stress like no other. Homework for hours when I got home. School wasn't fun. My kids, well, they're so excited yeah. for school every day. Every day they're so excited about it. So, you know, we just go. I I let them lead, but it's not an unmotivated lead. Like they're, they're motivated because I let them lead and because they enjoy learning. Yeah. I got to pee real quick. Really? Yeah. Really bad. I, there is a lot of people here. I don't know why there's so many. <laughs> Y'all blew me away last year. Did you just scoot off there? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all right, blew me out. away. Y'all blew me away last time. Cause it was like 1900 in here or something. Um, will they go to college? I, I hope so. Uh, I'm not one who pushes that, though, uh, because, you know, Shane went to college, but Shane doesn't even use his degree that he went to college for. It's actually a trade school. So, uh, like, a, he actually uses a trade school kind of thing. So, if they want to go to trade school, then that's awesome. I think they should. If they want to be an apprentice uh, somewhere, you know, around here, I don't know, but around here, um, plumbers, things like that, get started through apprenticeships. So if they want to apprentice, if they want to go to college, get more knowledge, I'm here for whatever. And I have a savings account for them so that when that time comes, they'll be ready to go no matter what they choose to do. Trade school's where it's at, I'm telling you. Um, you know, those, those jobs, they don't go out of style. There's always a demand for those kinds of jobs. Hey, Pennsylvania in the house. Yeah. Trades are, they're kind of set in stone. So, you know, uh, Colton wants to be <coughs> a chef. And that's something that's been pretty consistent with him for a really long time. So, he'll have to go to some sort of culinary school. Um, which is why I started, I initially started saving for their school super early. Because he did mention culinary, well, he mentioned chef school, which was culinary school. And I knew that that would be really expensive. <laughs> so, um, yeah, things like that. Electricians, plumbers, um... Things like that, licensed vocational nurses, LPNs. You go through a trade school here in Tennessee to get an LPN. Um, things like that, those are always in demand here, and they're always short for, like, people are really needed in those areas. So, go balls. Hey, I love my UT Orange. I can't tell you nothing about the team, but I love the UT Orange. Welding. Welding is big here, too. Welding is, is really big here. Um... Alabama, yeah, 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 auto, see, yeah, stuff like mechanics and stuff, oh, those would be really cool, I think Colton's gonna stick, he is 11, so I think he's gonna stick with the culinary thing, because I, I can't remember a time where he's not wanting to be a chef, uh, I remember him vaguely, remember him bringing it up around four or five, something like that, and it's been consistent, so JC, is very uh she she's very excited like to be like me because that's my mini <laughs> so she wants to be a homemaker but she also wants to be a teacher um so she she's still you know they're they're eight so they're gonna be back and forth for a long time jolie's adamant on being a rock star <laughs> I, believe she will be. I believe she will be she's my wild child <laughs> yeah she is my wild child so you know and then, who knows what Cammie um, will do, you know? Cammie's just going to live his life being awesome anyway, so he's who knows what awesome. he's going to do. That's the coolest kid. <laughs> he has... So. What's, the name with the, what's the name of the nail gun with the battery? Oh, uh, uh, a Brad nailer? Yeah. Is like the one? one that I have? Yeah. Oh, it's a Craftsman. Craftsman it's, Brad um, nailer. I think the size is 18. 
I'd have to go and look, but. Is there anything your family needs that I can help you with? Just prayer. Uh, Y'all, I don't think you guys realize how much you actually help by watching videos and stuff and being interactive. And the fact that there's 2,100 people here right now, like, you don't know how that helps. You have no idea how that helps. I, will, I don't like to get into the numbers part of it because I don't like to focus on that. And I don't want you to feel like not an individual and just a number. But I will say this, because there are so many of you guys who support the channel by just your time, which your time is more is worth more than any amount of money, um, I'm able to have savings accounts for the kids. And I'm able, I'm able to set them up for success. And that means the world to us. Uh, Gail wanted me to wish her husband a happy birthday. Happy birthday! <clears throat> so your prayers would mean the world to me, though. Okay, they, they wanted I'd love to hear all about your teeth, where you started and what you plan on getting in. So my teeth, okay, have always been really bad. I, I was I was taken to the dentist one time as a kid. That was it. And <laughs> she thought we said her name. <laughs> you were telling them about your future and what you want to be when you grow up. Yeah. <laughs> you having fun? Um, you having fun? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my teeth, I went to the dentist one time as a kid. And I left with having nothing done because I had a really bad experience there. And I think I was like eight, nine, something like that. And I had a really bad experience. It wasn't numb. And I left there not getting anything done. The next time I went to the dentist, I was 12 and had a permanent tooth removed because it was abscessed. And I had a big old pocket of abscess like up in the, or it was down here, down here, up in the gum. So I had literally... Had it. I'm not going to show you guys my teeth because they're pretty gross. <laughs> I had that done. I had a permanent tooth removed at 12 because of tooth decay. So, uh, my dad had had really bad teeth. Like, my dad got dentures when he was 21. My dad got dentures when he was 21. So, it it's hereditary. And then it's also, you know, just lack of hygiene. Because, I'll say this, like, I, I wash out my mouth every single day with my alcohol stuff I have specific stuff that helps with plaque and decay and stuff like that because my teeth are so decayed but it hurts to brush my teeth now because I don't have a whole tooth in my head even up behind the front ones like they look okay these top ones it's decayed all the way back up in there so it really hurts to brush my teeth I mean you brush it away and you're just brushing off pieces of teeth they crumble like a cracker really so the they said that they could do implants no bridges because even these aren't foundation enough to do bridges on. So they said they could do implants, but implants are stupid expensive. I mean, I know that there's a reason for that. And I'm not saying the dentists don't deserve that amount of money for that because they do some amazing work. I'm not saying that at all. But I don't know if I'm willing to pay that much money for implanted teeth when I can just get dentures. I don't know. I may try to do the cheap dentures and see if they work, see how they work out. And then if they don't work out maybe think about that i just don't want to get anything financed because then you're responsible for it you know i like to pay for things in cash i don't like to finance stuff it really i get i get anxiety over finance and stuff <laughs> he's over here drawing <laughs> yeah I, I, a lot of people were saying they weren't drawing so i figured i would just draw something real quick how do i like the video i don't see the option hey cheryl i don't know it says uh eleven a uh, thousand one hundred and sixty people have liked the video i don't know how you do that, though, but the fact that you call Mary is not girlfriend. Do you have a dental clinic near you, hospital, or school? I, they, the health, well, they used to do some sort of, like, dental school. I don't know about that, but I know I have a family friend dentist who always, anytime my teeth get, get abscessed, he's like, come in. It doesn't matter if it's 3 a.m., um, 2 a.m., don't he? Like, he's yeah, like, get here, I'll, I'll meet you at the clinic. And so, uh, he can just pull them, but I still, obviously, I pay him. Um, I know he would probably do, like, a payment plan, but I feel like if I can afford it, I'm going to pay him full price. So, it's always a money thing. I do have my little, a little bit in the savings account for my teeth. So, like, if I do have to have an emergency abscess pulled or something, or, like, I had that emergency surgery uh, where I didn't even know they did surgery on my mouth and they did it, and that's why it was taking forever to recover because I had uh, wisdom teeth removed. I can dip into my denture uh, envelope and, and pay for it that way. But in the future, hopefully... <coughs> 
I will have either dentures. I don't know, though. With the way I talk, I can just see them flying out. And I, <laughs> I really can see that. And I'm not going to be embarrassed by it because, I mean, y'all have seen my teeth up close. It's not something. It'd be a cool trick, I think. It's not something Cruz needs love. Where's Cruz at? I know Cruz. I recognize Cruz. <gasps> no. What is it? Cruz the American Bulldog. They, hi Melissa. They, hey Brenda. They, can you email me <clears throat> and put dogs in the subject? I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I can't imagine. Oh. I don't even know what to say to that. I'm so sorry. Do you know who did it? <clears throat> Is there an investigation or <clears throat> fearfully created? Okay, I will. I'll give you I'll give you my email. Did you say personally or I I'll find I'll find your comment and uh <coughs> give you my email then. Um I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope they, they have a lead on who did it. What is it? What happened? Their dog got murdered. What? Yeah. And I cannot imagine. I'm going to hunt their comment down when I get off here. <clears throat> I Listen, I'm, I'm not kidding about these two being my Dopey and Sarah, or Sarah and Dopey, because I, w I was telling y'all and I got squirrel momented, but I, ha I was in a really dark space a couple of days ago, and there was no reason for it. Like, it was just, you know how sometimes you get in your own head, and you're your own worst enemy? I was my own worst enemy, and I feel like... I feel like I could my my biggest thing is I feel like I can be more productive than I can be. So and Shane has mentioned this a few times, like I'm always one to feel like I need to be doing something more. Like I don't have an off switch, I don't have a sit down button. And so then I end up expecting too much out of myself and letting myself down. And these two get me through that. Like Tater can just run up to me <laughs> and she can just change my day like that. I mean these dogs, Banks has been with me for a while now, and he'll always be the one who um, kind of opened my heart to Dotson's because he's just such a special dog. Like, his temperament is perfect. He has the best temperament on the planet with the kids. I mean, he's protective when he needs to be and, you know, loving when he needs to be, and he, he can he feel He loves her. his babies. Yeah, he loves the kids, but you can feel his emotion. I'm sorry, that's really sad. You can um, feel his emotion, you know, he can feel your emotions. So he will always hold a special place in my heart. But Tater over here, she has brought a kind of wild kind of love. <laughs> <laughs> a wild kind of love. It is, it's, it's a wild kind of love. And um, I don't know what we can't do without her. I, I really don't. <clears throat> They, uh, people, they, non-dog lovers, you know, they're like, oh my gosh, like, you love your dog that much. Like, oh yeah, Banks right here saw me at my worst. absolutely. freaking lutely I love my dog that much. Nanny don't get it, because Nanny's never been a dog person. Nanny came from the time where I wasn't allowed to have dogs inside whenever I was a kid, which I think that's why I've always loved dogs inside yep. now. But Nanny came from the time where you kept the dogs outside um, and you fed them slop, you know, things like that. She she's, comes from an older time, and that's how old farm people did it back in the day. And she grew up, like, on a farm and stuff like that. So she, um, she wasn't used to having dogs on the inside, and they were mainly, like, for work and stuff like that. So <laughs> when I got out of the house, I was like, no, we're getting me a dog on the inside. Because <laughs> that's one thing I did get from my mom. My mom is a dog lover. She uh, she loves dogs, and she's always had a ton of dogs. So, But Nanny definitely does not like dogs in the house. So whenever Nanny comes over, I have to put these rascals up. Look at them. Tell as old as Tom. Do, 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 do. 
<laughs> He's over here wagging his tail. And you see that, Yuffie? Both a little scared. Totally unprepared. Beauty of the beast. <clears throat> yeah, they, I'm telling y'all, dogs and, and cats. Oh, what? Did you just sing Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Tail is <laughs> always time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hey, we had a cat named Tater. It was the original Tater. The original Tater. This is tater 2.0. Yeah. When we first got married, we had a cat named Tater, though. I snuck him into the house that I was living at <laughs> and um, tried to hide him. But did y'all know that cat litter gets really smelly if you don't change it? That's how they found out about it. But um, we had Tater, and oh my gosh, that cat loves Shane. It, it was like a Bengal mix. That cat would run. Jump on my back, climb up my back, and sit on my shoulders. Yep. We got a picture of and it And he somewhere. would tackle the Christmas tree, too. Yeah. He loved tackling the Christmas tree. Peaches. Oh, <laughs> I was about to sing a song, and I'm not supposed to sing that song. <laughs> I try that. See, I have old school Marina come in my, bra in my brain whenever uh, music's playing, you know, like, I'll be like, we just can't be okay. I think so. I know that's just happy, but um, I want to make sure though. Uh, but like 2001 fair, you know, when somebody says North Carolina, I'm like North Carolina, come on and raise up, <laughs> Petey Pablo. <laughs> like <laughs> I struggle with that a lot. <laughs> I, and it's not, I don't listen to, I listen to anything right now. Like, if it gets a little too, you know, then I don't. Like, I definitely don't enjoy listening to music that doesn't have, like, a point. I mean, unless it, the beat's just fun or something. <laughs> and yet, you will gladly sing, I'm blue, bye bye dee, ba -da -da, <laughs> That has a point. <laughs> I'm a die, I'm a dee, I'm a da. This is a story. Wait. I'm blues. I would, yeah, I would, I listen up now. This is a story about him that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Like him inside and outside. Blue his house with a blue little window and a blue Corvette. And everything is blue for him and himself and everybody you are going around. Because he out. ain't got nobody to listen, listen, listen. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. If I was green, I would die. Gypsy. Oh, it's a weenie gypsy. I love when you break out in song. That's all the time. <laughs> That's all the time. All the time. <clears throat> what, are, what are you drawing, Shane? I am drawing a rabbit. What for? Because they wanted to see a drawing, and I figured I would just do a drawing. And you just chose a rabbit? That's yeah. a cute rabbit, though. Thank you. What am I currently reading? What's that book? I had to put down the last book I was reading. It was um, Gina Showalter. <coughs> I read her Alice in Zombieland series, and I really liked it. But it was YA, which stands for Young Adult, if you don't know. This one is an adult, and it was like heart something, and I had to put it down. So right now, I'm not reading anything. I started reading uh, Redeeming Love. Y'all told me to read that. And I, I think it's where I wasn't warned. But the first part of the book, like the first 100 pages, it hit too close to home for me. <laughs> uh, um, uh, it just hit too close to home to me. Like, I couldn't get through that. <laughs> there should definitely so, be a trigger warning. There should be. Right. Um, there should be a trigger warning for that book. Not that it's bad. Like, I, I, I want to get back in it, but I had to, didn't I? You were up that night. Yeah. And I, I, I said, I can't do this. Like, I was shaking. Like, it, uh, it woke some trauma in me. So... I, uh, um, blue song because Sonic the Hedgehog, my kids love Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm blue. Um, you ain't late. We're still here. Uh, what was I saying? Alabama Pentecostal friend. Hey! My, Susan, okay, I, my Instagram instant messages, is that what they're, direct messages, are wild. They're, they're so behind. I have unlimited um message requests that i need to i need to get to it, it's hard though because like they just keep i think i need to turn off the responses to my stories because i have my stories um and then i have the responses onto it and whenever somebody responds to a story it brings it to the top so then it just it every day it's hundreds and it just brings it to the top so i think that's what i need to do 
My dog is wearing a. <laughs> my dog's wearing a wrap. It's fashion. <laughs> it's fashion. Fashion with a purpose. Look, that's my baby. That's my baby dog. Yeah, he's wearing a wrap. It's a male wrap. Cause him likes to pee on stuff. That's his love language. <laughs> Ain't it? That's your love language. We ain't gonna shame you. That's how the baby's love language. Oh, it's his love language. <clears throat> Sonic. <laughs> What's that? There's something up the speed of light. Sonic the Hedgehog. And aeroplanes. You're it's singing DuckTales. <laughs> no, uh, which, uh, which Sonic you want? <laughs> what? Okay. There was two Sonics. Sing a, song, sing a Sonic song for the boy. Okay, there was. Um, it's his formal the, wear. There, there was the one that went. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on a minute, because he used to watch it when I was like five. Uh, the Blue Streak speeds by Sonic, Sonic the, the Hedgehog. Hedgehog. Too fast for, for the, the naked, naked eye. eye. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he, he can, can really, really move. move. We'd wake up Sonic. till like two o'clock in the morning. He's that the blend. attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest thing alive. It's always a fun one. I, I think I'm going to have to do that with the story. Um, because, like, you know, when you... I, but I hate to do that because I like it when you guys message me and reply to a story. And I've seen a lot of bigger Instagrammers, like, have to turn theirs off. And I, I think I would miss that part. But I'm going to have to because I, I literally can't get back to all, all the messages. And it makes me feel so bad. And it's not because I feel like I'm obligated to get back to them. It's because I want to. Y'all are my happy space. Y'all are my happy space. Why your mom didn't raise you. Okay, so... Was there a second part to that? <coughs> <coughs> Let me see if I can find it. Uh, okay, so my... My mom didn't raise me. I don't know. <laughs> um... Uh, I think it was complicating. I think it was complicating. And I think uh, my mama was my age when she had me. Wow, look at that busted can of biscuits just falling out of my sleeve. I ain't even mad about it. That is name brand Pillsbury right there. You're um, gorgeous all over, don't even. I. My mom was my age when she had me, the same age I was whenever I had Colton. Her situation was completely different than my situation. And I have to constantly remind myself that she didn't have a shame. Uh, because I was, I was headed down her side. I can't judge her. And I can't, I can't even be mad at her. Because I was heading down that same road um, that she went down, um, you know, early in my life as a wife. And not with my kids. Now, that's one area I can't understand. Because, like, as a daughter, I can understand. Um, and, I, and I forgive. But as a mother, I cannot fathom. Because that was never a problem with mine. My kids always came first, didn't they? Always. And, and that's what drove... I'll wait to get into it in the podcast because um, there's a lot behind the scenes that y'all don't know. But my kids drove my working like a workaholic and being away from the home <clears throat> had to provide for them. Being away from the home all the time makes it really hard for you to switch back. It's like you can't snap back to reality the minute you open in the doors. You're still, your mind is still on you know, you outside of the home. And I got caught up outside of the home. And that's where I messed up. Um, so I can understand. I can understand. And I forgive my mom. And and my mom and I are, are, are close now. I talk to her at least every week. Um, I talk to her. And I'm proud of her. And the way that I see it is she adopted how many kids? <laughs> like seven kids. Seven. She adopted seven kids. And that's seven kids who get to have the mom I didn't have. Why should I, why, what do I have to be mad about? Those are seven kids who didn't have a home that she adopted. Um, 
and they get to have the mom I didn't get to have. I can't be mad at that. I cannot be mad at that. So my mom and I are, we're on good terms now. Um, I was a CNA and then I went to LPN school. Uh, I can't be mad at that. Um, I just remind myself that it's one, it, it, it takes, as Casting Crown says, it's a slow fade. It's not always overnight. It's not always you wake up and you're this bad person. It's a slow fade. And sometimes you don't even realize you're fading into it. Sometimes, you know, you're already faded and you realize then what has happened and what you've done. Um, so, yeah, she, oh, she does. And she'll tell you, she tells me all the time, like, Marina, if there is something I could do to take it back, I would. And I believe she really would. I believe she really would. Um, I, she's not a bad person at all and she never has been she never has been she's always had a heart of gold and um you know she just her situation was different and you don't know what you're gonna do in that situation until you've been in that situation so her situation was a lot different than mine and it the silver lining in it was nanny i mean my relationship with nanny uh you know i would have never had that if all of that hadn't happened so it all happened in a way that, you know, when he says he's going to work things all out for the good of those that love he him and it. are called according to his purpose, he means that. Like, he's going to work it all out for the good of you if you love him and you're called according to your purpose. And each of us are called. Even if we haven't met Christ yet, we're called, um, anointed, and appointed for things. It's just up to us and our free will to accept that in life and move for forward with it. But looking back now, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I can see him working in there, and I can see now stepping back. I have a motherly relationship with Nanny uh, that has been my rock, and I got my my Jesus was planted in me from Nanny. Um, you know, and I could get all into denomination and religion and stuff like that, but Nanny planted the seed of Jesus in me. That is the very seed that sprouted that forgiveness towards my mom who then went on to be a lot for these seven children, who is now ministering to them and spreading the love of Jesus to these people. My mom has a career now where she meets people who are at their lowest every day of their life, and she gets to minister to them. Like, what do I have to be mad about? What do I learn from my mom's mistakes? And I'm the mom I am today. Because she wasn't the mom she should have been now, then. What do I have to be mad about? My kids get to have the mom that I wish I would have had. My kids, and I'm not perfect. Don't, don't, get, don't get it twisted. <laughs> not perfect. But my mom, you know, she wasn't taught to be a mom herself. Like her, her childhood. Oh, my gosh, y'all think my childhood was bad. No, no, no. My mom's childhood if you only, oh, would bring you to your knees, like, would break you. It would break you. Like, it would break you. She didn't have an influence in her life. I didn't have the influence I needed in my life. I had nanny. But I learned from, my mom learned from her mom's mistakes. And I learned from my mom's mistakes. And it's been a continual generational thing to where now my kids don't have much to learn from. Like, they don't, I don't, they don't, there's not many mistakes that I've made that they are aware of that have affected them directly. They're not aware, they're not going to, they're not having that trauma. They, they don't have a lot to work through. Um, they're not going to have to be healed people um, in their 20s. They're not going to have to go down a path of destruction because of the decisions I made as a mom. Like, I have nothing to be mad about. Nothing to be mad about. <clears throat> it all worked out for my good. Every bit of it. Yes, mom was a victim of circumstances. And when I say that, a lot of people think that I'm making excuses for her. Um, but I'm I'm not. Like, I'm not making excuses for her. I think you're amazing. I'm not making excuses for her. I realized, um, and it wasn't until I made my own mistakes, I realized, you know, how hard it was for her. I Like I said, as a mother, I don't understand but as a 
person who's fallen away and has made their own doo-doo mistakes, I get it. I get it. Mm -mm. Yep. It, the generation stopped with me. The generational curses, they stopped with me. Thank you, Jesus. And now my kids don't have to recover from childhoods that they should have never had. How'd y'all get me? How'd y'all get me on that? <laughs> How'd y'all get me on that? <clears throat> I promise I'll start talking again here in a minute. I'm so sorry for your loss. Fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm so sorry. I'm praying that God covers you with the peace only he can provide. Do I have siblings? And were you raised with a different family members? I do have siblings. I have a lot of siblings. I have adopted siblings. I have half brothers. I have half sisters. I have step brothers. I have step sisters. <laughs> I don't talk to hardly any of them. Um, Y'all have seen my brother on here before. He is my only, like, full-blooded brother. Um, and he was raised by my dad, and I was raised by nanny, and then my step-siblings were raised by someone out of, the, out of their house, and then on both ends, and then my half-brothers were raised by my mom. My mom actually raised my half-brothers, and then my adopted brothers. <clears throat> My heart drips sugar cane. <laughs> my blood probably does too. <laughs> no. I actually have really good uh, blood sugar. I was surprised. That means the world to me. That means so much to me. Inspiration you are to many. people. Keep doing on what you're doing. Just think of all the people you help and don't even know. I, that's why I try. It, you know, nobody wants to air dirty laundry. Well, hold on. I hope I didn't accidentally report somebody's comment just now. <laughs> Nobody wants to air dirty laundry. But um, you, you can learn from being outside of situations and learning about them and hearing about them and stuff. Shane is drawing something. I'm almost done. He was actually supposed to lead the conversation into tonight's live, and that didn't happen. Well, well, it somebody, is kind of hard to lead with me, I understand. Somebody was saying, too, that they wanted to see a drawing, and so I was like, I'm going to oblige. How do I edit videos? iMovie. iMovie. I don't do any. I don't pay for any um, subscription for any editing apps or anything like that. Just iMovie. It's very simple, very basic. If I can learn to do it, anybody can. Do I have a favorite Christian song or hymn? It is well with my soul. That's a good one. It is well with my soul. Mine. Hold on, hold on. You want me to lead some conversation? I got some conversation. Mine is the Jesus paid it all. <laughs> because I have a Tell story him. with this, okay? Tell them. All right. So, um, I'm on a job, and I have to go uh, inspect some fire extinguishers at a bank. And so, there's a lot of these banks that they have uh, second and third floors, and a lot of these banks... The second and third floors are usually empty. Uh, it's just office space that they had rented out usually to other, uh, maybe like firms or something like that. So anyway, me and uh, another guy that I'm working with, we go there and we're, we're searching out the extinguishers and everything. And anyway, I realize, okay, I got to go upstairs. So I go up to the bank manager and I have to get the keys from her. And she's getting the keys and all of a sudden she... Uh, she, she's telling me, she's explaining that there's no power on the second or third floor. It's going to be kind of dark, so I'm going to need my light <laughs> on my phone. I'm like, okay. And all of a sudden, she says, oh, and uh, make sure you say hi to uh, Billy and Sarah for me. And I'm like, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> and she's like, oh, there are ghosts that live up there. And I'm just thinking to myself, you're about to send me upstairs <laughs> into two dark floors with really dark corridors and you want to tell me a ghost story right now <laughs> thanks i appreciate that so i get to the second floor and the second floor is not so bad they've got windows up there and light was coming in so it i mean it wasn't the best well lit it was still kind of spooky whatever whatever uh, I get to the third floor, however, and it's pitch black up there. I don't know if they had, like, the windows boarded shut or what. I don't know. But it is pitch 
black up there. And I'm just going, okay. All right, all right. So I'm going down through there. And all of a sudden, I'm just like, you know what? Just in case if there's a demon or something up here, I start singing, Jesus paid it all. <laughs> It was the first song that came to my brain. Sin <laughs> had left a crimson state. And I'm sitting up here doing the stuff that I need to do. And I'm just going, uh, he washed me white as snow. And as soon as I get done with that last extinguisher, I'm like this. told me that story and I rolled like I rolled on the ground <laughs> cackling because I can see him like he doesn't get freaked out over stuff very often <laughs> pitch black <laughs> freaked me out a little bit I'm not gonna lie and that wasn't the only time I went to another bank um and we had uh they had um it's kind of like in a downtown area and when you go in through the main entrance to the bank there's another side door here that goes into like another it was like an office space building but they use it to like store all their christmas decorations and stuff in and i had to go up there and check their extinguishers and it was pitch black and uh i remember the first time i went through there i did the exact same thing <laughs> like singing that's that's the song that came to my mind you know because you just you don't so know is that your favorite hymn that's my favorite hymn <laughs> It, it comforts me. And uh, the second time I went up there, one of the bank tellers had to go up there with me. And she had said that they had had problems with squatters coming in there. And she hears something and ran off and abandoned me in there. And so I'm just sitting there finishing my thing, singing my song. Because <laughs> by this point, I'm just like, something going to get me. It's going to get me, I guess. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. I don't get freaked out by stuff like that. I usually don't, but you've never been in, like, a creepy, like, building that was built in the 40s or 50s. I've been in a whole haunted house with something in the TV, and remember that? Yeah, They I called me that. in to deal with something, and it was it was haunting their house. Yeah, I, I remember that. That was, that was wild. Wild. I've Here. been in some creepy situations. That's for you. Oh, did you show them? Yeah, this is what I was drawing. I don't know who it is, but there it is. Buster. Buster. No, that's that's not Buster. Buster was blue. Who's Buster? From Tiny Toons. Buster hmm. and Babs. Oh, I was just saying he looks like a blue Buster. Blue and pink. No. I'm going to name him. Do I believe in spirits? Oh, yeah. <laughs> His name is yeah. uh, Thaddeus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't that good? And he won't do a YouTube channel. Teach me how to draw like that. Sure. No, seriously. Sure. Y'all want to see my bunny? Hold on. Yeah, okay, you take over the, the conversation. Okay. And I'll draw a bunny. We've yeah. been on here how long? I'm so sorry, guys. Should I leave, though? No. We're having a good time. I don't want to hold them. It's not... Goodness gracious. Yeah, let's see. Uh, you it's gave going the... so fast. You gave me the pen that did not work. Did I? I'm sorry. Here, I'll give you a better pen. Um, this one will really write. It it's more of a brush. Thank you, thank you. To hear my and they, they didn't get to see the bunny. They want to see the bunny. Okay, I'm not going to show them mine. Up. There's the bunny. Thaddeus. Thaddeus bunny. <laughs> no, what? You don't want me to draw? What? No, they said no. I don't believe you. <laughs> I think they're saying they don't want us to get off. Okay, Let's I'm see. drawing. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Hi. <laughs> so I said, I'm glad you're back, Jane. <laughs> I've been like this for, I guess, yeah. about 20 minutes. Well, or so. Oh, yeah, I about messed up. I about messed up your rabbit. What are you going to name it, by the way? Mine is Thaddeus. Phonotisa. Phonotisa. See what I did there? No. Mona Lisa, because it's oh, a work of oh, art. Oh, I got you. I got you. Oh, that ear's lumpy. Let's see. Um, hey, I, Granny! Happy birthday! They should say hi to my Granny. Happy birthday. We love you. I'm so grateful for the older generation that watches me because they give me so much advice. They are the most supportive people on the planet. And I have never known a friend like some of my older empty nesters. I'll tell you that much. I don't. 
Um, let's see. They said to put glasses on your bunny. How'd you know I was doing that? Come on now. How'd you know? We're in sync. <laughs> Somebody said I sing about or I sing about Jesus when I get freaked out too. Oh, hey, I I tell you what. Tell though. about the time that I uh, worked in the nursing home and that uh, fortune teller. Well, I feel like you should tell that story because I wasn't I'll there. I'll wait. I'll wait to tell that story. We all, we all have those moments where we. Uh, oh, hi, Justin from Indiana. Hey, Justin. Um, I think we all have moments like that where something can get a little spooky. But I will have to sit here and say. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that happened. Um. Smithany Tiffany. <laughs> I, th <laughs> I think the thing, though, is like, um, you know, when when something gets spooky or something feels like it's going to get, uh, you know, your head is starting to go under the water a little God bit. God has you know, it given you, you exactly. the spirit of fear. This one the has power. said that so many times and that love. my... That my and t my total like perspective on fear has been changed. Mm -hmm. I looked at a demon uh, in the eye one time and said, "God has not given me the yeah. spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind." Not meant it too. You know, there's nothing bigger than God, so that's the that's he the. He is Almighty. Yeah. Almighty. That is the 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 Woo. peace He gives you. You Come know, now. is knowing that nothing is bigger Come than with Him. That. Knowing that. There's nothing that has power. He's God and God like all his. by himself. So, you know, that's that's just how it is. <laughs> I'm reading. You just keep drawing. Let's see. Uh, is Nanny your mom's mom or dad's mom? Dad's mom. And you make me like, ah, it's gone so far. I'm sorry. I tried slowing it down, but I didn't slow it down enough. I don't guess. It's 30 degrees in Alaska right now. Oh, it's starting yeah. to cool off here. You can start feeling uh, fall See, in the I air tell him he needs here. to work for an animation studio. You know, but. Wait till y'all see mine. Where where'd you get the markers at, though? Because yours looks better with color. Uh, these are my Copics. Yeah, but and, I uh, need well, some. Well, not Copics. They're uh, Master's Touch. I need some. You want some? I got them right here. You just tell me what colors you need. Let's see. It's chilling here in Alabama. It's like, a, oh, I was saying, it, it's definitely getting fall time here. We've just started feeling it in the last few days. Let's see. Uh, I also have chaotic energy, Rena. <laughs> <laughs> so, sister. Let's see. It's hot in Alabama. Well, one said it was cold. Let's see. Maybe they're on separate sides. Yeah, probably. Or I'm getting my states mixed up. <laughs> I'm going to have this bunny waving at y'all. Let's see. <laughs> That's a big old arm. <laughs> he works What's out. What's going on here? He works out his hand. Why oh, no. is his eyes bloodshot? <laughs> it's hard out here. <laughs> it's hard out here. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to put a shovel in his um, hand. Missing you. a lot about your name. Oh. Um, let's see. You're bad at this. I, I'm terrible. It, it's going by, and I want to answer everybody, and I'm, I'm squirreling on every single one. Oh, I did the same thing. Why's he got a shovel? Wait, leave him alone. Who did he kill? He's a... Four generation farmer. He's a hard working home on home on power. Hogging up the road and my tip of the plower. Chug a little like five miles an hour. He's an international harvester. Let's see. Lots of love from Texas. You're both very inspiring. It went away. Oh, I'm sorry, I just rubbed my nose and my shirt on camera. My bad. Hey, uh Wait, we're gonna give him an elbow. The taters are ready. Some the person that was cooking the taters. Oh, so the, taters are the fried taters? I'm ready. I don't know if they're fried. I mean, I'm smashed. I thought it just said Paris Hilton was in the building. I was about to say. Maybe she is. Just say what's up. Simple life. It's to be a hot simple in Louisiana. 
kind of man being something you love and not understand. What's the most supernatural thing you've ever seen God do? Um, he told me to tell somebody to run. That sounds odd, right? He likes doing stuff like that. He told me to tell somebody to run. And they took off running, and midway running, they started screaming and, and laughing and jumping, and I didn't know what was going on because I didn't know the issue. Didn't know what was going on. Need some markers. Uh, come to want. find out, he removed a goiter that big off of their neck. I'm going to give you. All because. These three. They obeyed him whenever he said to run. See, God does stuff like that sometimes. It, I, don't, I don't understand it. It's not my job to understand it, though. Let's see. Much love from Indiana. Will you please pray for me and my family, my business, health, finances, everything? Absolutely, Satan is attacking. in Jesus' name. What's her name so I can write um, down? That is Bujo and Budget with the Frazzled Florist. Let's see. Um, can you please say happy birthday to my daughter? I'm going to say Lila. I think that's Lila. Happy birthday Turns tonight on Monday. to Monday. Our family loves your family. Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Let's see. I'm the tater queen. I love them cooked anyway. That's Brenda Weathers. Oh, Brenda! Brenda Weathers is my gal. Listen, I know if nobody else shows up to my videos, Brenda Weathers is going to be there. Oh, they want me to tell her and Sherry and Teddy and all the Lisas and all the Glorias. They want me to tell a joke. Okay, go. I'm listen. You may not want jokes from me because I am the king dad, dad joke. joke guy. That's that's the truth. I tell dad jokes. So like the my oldest one. Uh, what fruit likes to go swimming the most? Apple. I was about to say a watermelon. No, an apple. Because it's an apple. Why are you giving me colors that are going to ruin? Are you trying to sabotage? Is he supposed to be a killer? Leave him alone. He's a fifth generation farmer's daughter. Oh, he's a daughter? He's a, well, no, he's <laughs> a hard work. Come back, come on, flower. Talking to the roll and watching him pull the flower. Check a little your leg and find off now. We're, he's an international harvester. Oh, I'm getting you a color. I'm getting you a color. Yes, absolutely. Praying. Hey, I want, there's Gene. <laughs> Gene Lanes. Gene's been with me for a long time. Long time. She's also another one I know is going to always be there. Um, I'll pray for all Are you looking forward to Christmas cards this Why'd year? Why'd you give me blue? I didn't want it to be blue. I thought that was purple. I'm still getting back to Christmas cards. Matter of fact, I just sent back out 18 the other day. That was quite a bit. 18 the other day I just sent them out. As well as the thank you cards for stuff that comes in the P.O. box. I got another load of those sent out. I still have, I'd say, 300 to get back to. But I'm going to do it. I told y'all it might take me a year. And it sure has. But I'm going to do it. Let's it's see. also expensive. Stamps are not cheap. Um, I mean, they are. But in bulk, they're not. I guess he's going to be multicolored. Give me a. Okay. You give want, me a. Here's a brown. Now brown, you give me the brown. Bronze green. Let's see. Um, that looks like diarrhea. This says now. Oh, hold on now. Now my hu hubby says he is the king of dad jokes. He probably is. He probably. <laughs> is. I tell a mean dad joke though, and I'm somebody that I can whip them up. Like I don't just tell the ones that I hear. I make up ones on the fly too. So like. Um, I gotta, if I can look at something for a minute, I can maybe figure something out here. I need a <laughs> color. I need a color. Um, favorite Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie? Oh, that's hard. That's real hard. Um, he goes ham on the Christmas movies. Okay, I love a Christmas story. I love a Christmas story. I can't get this one to watch a Christmas story for all the money in China. My favorite is Annabelle's Wish, Last Wish. Oh, I, hold on. That wasn't my... Now, Christmas Story isn't fully my answer. I love a Christmas Story. I love the Santa Claus. I love the humor in the Santa Claus. Jingle All the Way is a guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's, 
it's not that I great like of a movie. the language in that one. It's not that great of a movie, but it, <coughs> it's a guilty pleasure. I love you, Kathy. Let's see. It says, hey, Shane, do you want to hear a dirty joke? But I have a feeling this is going to turn into a dad joke. I'm hoping it's going to turn into a dad joke. Shane fell in the mud. <laughs> See? There it is. There it is. I knew it. I was, I was on to you the second I wrote that. Or you wrote, wrote that? that? <laughs> he went to college to get yeah, more knowledge. I went to college to get more knowledge. Yeah, um... I do like Christmas Vacation, but that is one that <laughs> it strays the line on. <laughs> I will. I refuse to watch it. <laughs> I refuse to. It I don't strays ever. the line on some things. Uh, Home Alone. You gotta love Home Alone. Okay, why um, can't you give me a good marker like that the whole time? I need one more. Oh my! Hello. <laughs> That's what the That's ladies the say. Stuff of nightmares. That's what the ladies say. Hello, handsome. Elf. Oh, I love Elf. I, I forgot about I Elf. Love Elf. I also love um, that one that came out a few years ago with Anna Kendrick. Oh, yeah, the one on Disney+. Plus. Noel, Noel. Noel, that was a pretty good one. I liked it. Uh, let's see. What time is it? Christmas with the Cranks. Now, that's one I just can't get into. I've tried to get into that one, and I can't. Let's see. Uh... Arthur Christmas... Arthur Christmas, Arthur Christmas. Which one is that? Oh, I love the Grinch. And I am uh, particularly fond of the Jim Carrey Grinch. That's just, there's something funny I, I love about that movie. Let's see. Black. The year with, okay, now any of the Rankin Bass Clay animated Christmas movies? Yeah, I love those. Does nobody remember Annabelle's Last Wish? I don't, I don't think it was her last wish. Calm down with the ominous vibes again. <laughs> it was Annabelle something. Medea's Christmas. <laughs> Miracle on 34th Street, both the uh, the old one and the 90s one. I like both of those. I don't know if there's any other after that. I cannot believe there's still 2,000 people in this chat room. Yeah, there's... And we Prancer! Let me tell you what about Prancer, okay? We're 154 Prancer minutes. is a good movie. But Prancer is extremely kind of just... It's melancholic through the whole movie. It's good, but it's not It's not a jolly movie. I mean, it can be somewhere. So that means it's what time? Oh, wait, wait, wait. They said they... White Christmas, that's a good one with uh, uh, Bing Crosby. Is he in that? Let me uh, see. What? What do you need? I just said uh, random. Bingsy, you okay? A random? Uh, I will give you... Bingsy, baby, that's my boy. That's my baby. You know, actually, okay. Oh, I love you. I take back all my answers. My most favorite Christmas movie of all time is It's a Wonderful Life. I love It's a Wonderful oh Life. Gosh. Hands down. Two hours and three, 30 Are minutes. Are we that Hey, somebody it? said they loved Annabelle's Wish. Is it we Die Annabelle's off. Wish? I had that conversation with somebody before that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Well, I say Christmas movie. It's not Christmas. Is it Annabelle's Last Wish or Annabelle's Wish? Annabelle's Have I been Christmas making it morbid? Um, this, yeah. This one's name is Jared. All right, now y'all pick. Oh, All right. are, are we? Well, we can't All right. both at the same say time. Say Shane for Shane. No, Thaddeus. This is Thaddeus. Okay, Thaddeus. Thaddeus, Thaddeus the rabbit. Good, good look at him. Yeah, he, look, he's getting a bountiful harvest. Okay, see yep. it? He got a bountiful harvest because of the International Harvester. See? What I did there? Or we could just go... Oh, yeah. No, this is this way. No, no. Or we could just go... <laughs> Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny rocks. Oh, I love y'all harvesters. Somebody actually said Shane, though. But let me show you. What is this? That's just only got a few in there. Um, this guy's missing a tooth. <laughs> and then this lady ate the tooth. <laughs> what is this? What's this? What's this? this is Rick Grimes. Rick Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> what that, that's a random notebook. There's barely anything in it. There's two rabbits and a Superman. <laughs> 
He looks like Mr. Krabs. I think they're saying that about your rabbit. No, they may hear yours. <laughs> SpongeBob, me boy! Look at that. That one's not so good. That, that You're is, crazy! No, yeah. It's not very detailed. I don't like that one. Stick to vlogging, Marina. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Love you! <laughs> Look at that, though. Look at that. Wow. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Look at my bunny showing through there. <laughs> It was like an ominous murderer, <laughs> an axe murderer. That thing looks scary. Uh, you drew talent. it good. Use your talent to do merchandise. Oh. Polar Express. That's. A good I would one. love for him to do that. I'm still I, on the Christmas movies. I don't know how that would sit with people. Wait, 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 wait. I think I saw, I saw an oldie but a goodie. I saw an oldie but a goodie. Where was it? I'm gonna my eyes traveling. I'm pretty sure I saw it. I'm pretty sure I saw it. I'm pretty sure. Where was it? I Does know Polar I saw Express. It. Oh, no, I saw it. Hey, oh, there it is. Fart. Virginia, there's a Santa Claus, the actual movie with John Boy Walton in it. I, well, I saw that, and I was thinking of the Walton's Christmas movie. Oh. That's good. Apple, golden brown, upside down, apple oh, sauce cake. <laughs> well, they're going to need context for that. So, my mom loves the Waltons. Hellfire. Absolutely loves the Waltons. And... A long time ago, back when I was little, she found a cassette tape at a store, and it was a Walton's Christmas cassette tape. And it's basically, it, it's this this tape of them, like, celebrating Christmas, and, you know, you'll hear them talking and, you know, saying they love one another. And, of course, of course, the tape has to end with everybody telling each other goodnight. But um, they all sing songs, and one of them gets on there and sings this song about golden brown, upside, upside down, down applesauce, applesauce cake. cake. And I had to hear that tape. <laughs> every Christmas, and not just every Christmas, like every week of Christmas. <laughs> you know, John, John boy, boy, we do that in the house every night, don't we? Yep. Not every night, but a lot of nights. Show us more art, Shane. Uh, Go, uh, hurry, uh, while we're on here. I don't it's know what I've shown before. I don't want to show the it's same. Did you just check your invisible watch? What time it's is it? It's a Rolex. Somebody <laughs> tell me what time it is on the Eastern Standard Time. Because it won't show me. <laughs> Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nine, oh, nine thirty-six on Eastern Time. Okay. Thank you. Come here, Inspector Gadget. Come here. You see the people that love us. They love the banksters. <laughs> they love him. It's almost bedtime. I'll try to... I, don't, I hate to leave y'all because y'all have put a pep in my step today. Hey, Leslie. I wish he would do... Oh, of the trailer part? Yeah, I was trying to get him to do a Jesus graphic novel or something like that. Like, you know, like not like a Jesus like Bible one, but like a, um, you know, one that... I don't know. I was trying to get him to do one. It's hard to get him to do anything, though, with art, because I think he don't feel like he's good enough, but he's so good. First off, I, I hadn't shown him these. I, I did glass paintings for the first time here recently. So these are actual glass paintings that I did. If you want to, thank you. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> he did those backwards, so the back of it is where he was painting. Yeah. They, they look kind of funny when you look at the backs of them. Because the whole point is you've got to uh, overlap the colors. I'll show you what it looks like on the back here. That's not it. I don't know. It may be stuck to that now. Uh, yeah. Just take my... Just look up a glass painting and you'll see what it looks like. It looks kind of funny. But, yeah. So, yeah, those are... I'm going to do more of these... At some point in time. Uh, let's see. I did a, a vision in Wanda once before. Um, let's see. I found some good ones here. No, man. Do you like? Do you like bleach? Did you ever watch bleach? Yeah, yeah I like bleach. Actually, I got a bleach in here somewhere. Right here. Kind of like a artsy, fartsy one. Yeah, I did that. 
Yes, my kiddos love to draw if they get it from him. Especially Cammy. He is such a good artist. Cammy's amazing. He blows me away. I've got a Wolverine here. Charlie Horse. Uh... <clears throat> Golden brown, upside down, applesauce cane. Hey, guys! Uh, uh, tell him, Susan. You tell uh, him. A Ryu from Street Fighter. Tell him, Gina. He won't listen to me. I uh, got a, a Chun Li from Street Fighter. And I've got a Guile from Street Fighter. I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah. yeah. His, uh, uh, his uh, what's it called? Electronic art? Oh, yeah, my digital? My, his digital art is to be reckoned I've done some more like, on it, but my wow. iPad's not uh, charged right now. Like, wow. It is amazing. Babe anime. Let's interview Shane. Let's do that for a few more minutes. Let's <laughs> let's ask Shane questions. <laughs> um, favorite anime is probably Cowboy Bebop. Hands down. Really? Yeah. What yeah. is it about? Um, it's about a bounty hunter in space. And it's got like jazzy music and it's got like a laid back, kind of like a noir feel to it too. So it's really good. Have you ever thought about making a YouTube art? I've thought about it. I've thought about it. The Shane, did you ever watch the Mighty Boosh? Boosh? I have no idea what that is. I, I'm usually on top of everything. Bye! But I, I, I don't know what that is. Shane's good looking and talented. <laughs> Cringy eyebrows. Right. Okay, so let's see. They're going so fast. When did you meet Marina? When did I meet? That would have been back in 09. Marvel or DC? Marvel. Hands down. DC has Batman. I love Batman, but Marvel. Just because I like more characters from Marvel. Uh, let's see. Hi, Marina, have Shane make you art. I had that podcast, the Fearfully Created Podcast yep. icon. He made that. Yep, yep, yep. He also, um, back before Lacey changed it, he made her art for her thing. Yep, yep, yep. And every, uh, every single... Uh, birthday Marina, card. Marina, <laughs> don't ask about more kids. Marina got triggered earlier. <laughs> I'm in a funk now. <laughs> I don't want to go adopt a monkey. If I had land, y'all wait. Pray. Pray that we get land. If we get, I'm not going to be, you know, it's just, Lord, if it's your near will, that. Pray if it's in the Lord's will we get land. I'm going to have me a farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Llamas, alpacas, all of them. <clears throat> uh, see, Marvel and Batman and Wonder Woman. Are you playing with my toes? Yeah. I've got this dog. Are we still doing the second channel? This dog yes. is scratching himself behind me, and I'm going, uh. Hello, please, sweet baby, come here. I'm my mama. Let's see. I love you. I love you. Well, I draw a Dr. Stone picture. Yeah, I'll do a Dr. Stone picture. I like Dr. Stone. Uh. Give me your arm to you. Huh? You need me to read them to you? Yeah, you read, read them to me. Because I'm, I'm squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> well, Shane, have you ever thought of doing book illustrations? That would be fun. I might try it one day. You should do... They were saying that you should do a, like, comic. Shirts that say, but God loves you more. Oh, I had... One of y'all send me a, I, first of all, anytime y'all send me stuff, it's usually, but Jesus loves you more stuff. But y'all sent me, uh, one of y'all sent me a shirt and it has it on it and I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I can't wait to wear it out. <clears throat> demon Slayer. No. I, I knew the that. ultimate Demon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> no. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all the way. I love the turtles. Will you help us? Oh, let's go. Hold on. Squirrel. Shane, what is your favorite TV series? My favorite TV series? I, uh, 
I really like Walking Dead. But I feel like there's another one. Walking else. Dead. I watched a little bit of the plot with them, but man, it some language. That's yeah. Um, Can't watch it with kids around. Can't watch it with me around either. <laughs> I like it though. Like the plot, it's interesting. I don't know. I ha turtle. I don't know. Um. Oh heck yeah! I'm burning volcanoes and wax melts. You know it. Got some acorns, or not actual acorns, but acorn ish. Um, wax melts. Me and you really hey, got Pamela. into Lost. Oh, Pamela. Lost was we so good. Lost. The language, you know, and and some scenes, you know, just kind of. But Lost was really good. Yeah, I, I, I love you, Amanda. We had. I think the most fun we had with what? Lost was we we had never seen flowers. it when it came out. And so we binged it from start to finish, and we would watch an episode and then theorize what was going on, and we had a lot of fun with that. Way to be. What is your? What is Shane's favorite way to be romantic to you, Marina? <sighs> Let's see. Give him some hard questions. Let me tell you what. No, 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 no. The way to Marina's heart is not through roses. Or can't, it's not even through food. It's through literal, like, she'll walk in and I have the entire place spotless. That's the way you get to her heart right That's there. That's my love language. That's love language right acts there. Acts of service. Uh, and acts words of, of affirmation. I do that all the time. <laughs> not the right way. <laughs> what are you talking about not the right way? You should do a channel teaching art on Procreate. Well... My thing is, I'm still learning on Procreate, so I don't think I, I don't think I can teach a lesson on that. I, you know. Good night, Savannah. What was y'all's first date? I took this one to go see the Hannah Montana movie when it came out. <laughs> I hated Mon Hannah Montana. Wait. Okay. Good night. I love you, Savannah. Wait, but uh, I thought you were telling me I had bed bugs. <laughs> Good night. I just said what the bed bugs thought. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, have you have you watched Rings of Power yet? No, I haven't. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it just because I love the original Lord of the Rings trilogy and I love the movies of them, but past that, I don't think I could get into them. That's that's just me. <laughs> we tried watching something. What was it? That, we've tried to watch several something. Oh, it was a book series that I read. What was that? Oh, uh. Can't remember. I can't remember. I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember. Somebody just remembered. Elena Starkov. That was the main character. How did the roof turn out? Turned out good. It's keeping the water out. Yeah, I love it. Have we watched The Chosen? Life. Yes. Hey, hey, let me show you something from The Chosen. <clears throat> Shane really likes The Chosen. Like, really likes it. Write a book. What should he write a book? Hey, Janet, I just realized that was you. What should he write a book about? If I'm not proposed to... Listen, Shane didn't even have, Shane didn't even have a ring whenever he proposed to me. It was imaginary. <clears throat> I got these. These are devotionals. That are actually from the. Ch I think it's mirrored right now, but this account. is the chosen. I'm almost done with this one, and I went on and got this one because I knew I was. You got those at Hobby Lobby, didn't you? Yeah, they had these at Hobby Lobby. They're like, I think about like eight dollars somewhere in there. They're not super expensive, and they're really good. I, I've really enjoyed reading these. So. I like those pants on you. Thank you. Stranger Things. Yeah, I like Stranger Things. Um. No, pineapple does not belong on pizza. No, I don't like pineapple on pizza. But I've heard a lot of people say they like it. Let's see a pic you draw of Marina. Let's see. I can draw. <sighs> Disabled in the... In Jesus... Yes, we'll be praying. <clears throat> we'll be praying. Shadow and Bone. Yes, that's the one we tried watching. It wasn't that good. But we, we didn't... We, we kind of got it. lost on it. There was a lot yeah. of... What, um, yeah, terminologies so that were used and stuff yeah. like that, you know? Let me see if I can draw. 
is a chosen movie. It's a show, and you can actually get it for free on the app, can't you? Yeah, you can go. You the can get an app, app and watch it for free. And you can even like mirror it to your TV and stuff. Let me see your glasses. You don't know what they look like by memory well, yet. Yeah, but you know, I still have to have. HGZ, HGTV show, I couldn't. They would kick me off for just talking. <laughs> I can't be told what to say. I just say what I say. What's that show we've been watching, though, with the brother and the sister that oh, go? Oh, Farmhouse Facelift or something like that. Been, I don't know been... where to watch Chip and Joanna Gaines, so I just randomly found Farmhouse Facelift, I think, on, well, on Hulu. Yeah. And it's a brother and sister duo, and they're okay. Dream Vacation. Mm, I crave stability more than like a vacation so like this vacation was fun this year but i crave like land i really i really want land i hope that's that's, that's the not the point of a dream vacation Maria. my dream vacation would be a staycation on land <laughs> let me see here katrina shay uh yeah, I'm trying to see everybody, and if I, I don't really see yours, ain't it? please don't get upset. I really try to, um, I try to point out people I, I haven't got back to. Memory, hey, I love you guys. Will you build a house? No, probably not. Um, hopefully, the market is a little wild right now. So, I don't really know. I'd like to find something that really needs, like, some work and TLC and, and us fix it up. Like, get it for a good price and not lose money fixing it up. Like, actually get it for, you know, a good price. I'd love to do something like that. They're on Discovery Plus. So really? that's what I need. Yeah. See, we were hearing everything that they were on HBO Max, that they were on this, they were on that. Anytime. Anytime. We're still praying. So you wouldn't take your current house with you? Yeah. I mean, um, depending on if it already had. Now, if I just get land, yeah. That's the that's the plan is to bring the house with me. But if there was something on the land, then like, um, you know, repo double wide. Uh, I really I really like mobile Pretty homes. Cool. So yeah. I'm, I'm leaning towards repo double wide. I, something that needs, you know, work. Please. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I didn't put a lot of uh, detail into it, so it's... That's really cute. Hello from the UK. Hey, friend. I haven't... See, I've been just... I, where we're not at, like, <clears throat> buying or on the market right now, I haven't really looked at real estate, but I have noticed the last time I looked at it, the prices were insane. Look at Tater back here. I want to tell all on the podcast. I just, I don't like to go too far into the deliverance stuff on here because I don't know who's watching. If you have your kids around you, you know, if you just don't want to hear stuff like that. Like, I, I want to respect that because it can be scary. So, I, I try to respect that on here. Um, but, yeah, on the podcast, definitely that's what we're, that's what you'll know coming into it. That that's, you'll hear a lot about that. I love how they're keeping me updated on the time so I don't stay over. Yeah. Top five Aussie snacks. Oh, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't know that. I'm not really sure what, like, delicacy. That, I saw uh, on Mary Kate and Ashley movie one time, somebody eating something in Australia, and it was, it was called something. Has anybody ever seen that movie? What? It was a Mary Kate and Ashley, and they were in the witness protection program. Oh, oh, I know which one you're talking and about. And they were eating something. It looked like chocolate, but it wasn't chocolate. And it was from Australia. It's not Billboard Dad, is it? And no. It's and every one. time I see that, I want it. So Vegemite. How'd y'all know that? Yeah, Vegemite. That's what it was called. Do they... Do you guys have that? Holiday Fear in the Sun. Fearfully That's created, the name of it. Fearfully Created Podcast. Vegemite. I've always wanted to try that so bad. I don't know what it's made of, but it looked really good in that movie. I can have 20 of your 40 acres, but bring Nanny. Hey, don't tell Nanny. We will be on our way yesterday. <laughs> our lips are sealed. Yeah. Na, 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 na. We talk a lot. Well, that's no surprise. You can get this one started on Mary Kate and Ashley. I love Mary Kate and Ashley. Jesus changes lives. Jesus 
Jesus does save, and he does change. Passport to Paris. It's super. Is it salty? It looks like really good. It kind of looked like chocolate pudding meets tapioca pudding. I'm down. Sell art so I can buy. Oh, I can even draw you something for free. What in here? Yep. How is your blood pressure medicine going? I'm not thinking it. <laughs> I like the little singing of it that you did. Uh, I have read. Well, it made me feel weird. And I gave it time to work. It made me feel weird. So, you know. Vegemite is like eating a bouillon. So it ain't sweet. Hmm. A bouillon uh, cube is uh, condensed. Condensed. Uh. We chicken heard, sawdust. We heard that word not too long ago. Bouillon. Bouillon. Let's see. No, sweet. It's gross. <laughs> How's Shane's health? Oh! <laughs> How's your health? I'm dead now. You snapped my neck. He's still having some issues, but... I'm doing better. You got it. I will absolutely pray for you. Oh, man. It's going so fast. Wants to come to Tennessee and try to run into you at McKay's or Ross. I'm always there. If she's going to run into me anywhere, it's going to be Ross, though. Hey, no. Yeah. Ross. You would catch, like, if, if I had my way, you would catch me more in McKay's. <laughs> Could be, why would you buy my cookbook? Oh, Lord. I don't know. <laughs> It's hit or miss with me. Like, I literally made dumplings the other night, and I told y'all in the video, like, it was like Jawbreaker. Some of them, Shane loved it. I, he said he loved it. I enjoyed it. I didn't have but a problem with it. was like Jawbreakers. But, I, I mean, if you... I used to do what's for dinners, but I don't know if you guys are interested in that anymore. And it's hard because, you know, the YouTube algorithm, like I said, I don't know how it works really well. So, I'll do, like, a video like that, and it doesn't do very good. So, I just assume that y'all don't want to see the what's for dinners. But it might just be that the algorithm isn't showing you guys. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that might be what it is. Home Depot or Lowe's? That's a good... We need prayer for the whole community. You ignored it. <laughs> what? I said Home Depot or Lowe's. Oh, Home Depot. <laughs> Lowe's. 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 Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, P.O. Box is in the description of most of my videos. It's still open as of now. I've never Have, tried Jamaican. Never, food. but I would love to. I would buy a shirt with Shane's artwork. Maybe you can do something like that. Because, I mean, you're not fearfully created. Like, <laughs> well, I am, but... <laughs> <laughs> Touche! <laughs> <clears throat> I see, I don't even know how Facebook works or anything like that. Um, I, I'm not... See, you guys say merch, but then if I did merch, I feel like so many people would be mad. And I don't want... Because at one point, I did say I wouldn't do merch. And it was for particular reasons. Um, and I learned that way. Like, never say you'll never do anything. Because <laughs> you just never know, you know, how things will change. And you never know, like, how it will be perceived, you know. And I don't ever want to come across as just doing it because I think I'm... Gravy and biscuits. <laughs> they said you needed a shirt that said it's corn. It's corn. <laughs> a big walk of knobs. It has juice. It has. I just juice. every time I hear it, I just now see you covered in fall time decorations. <laughs> Y'all see what that Instagram that? reel? Reel. I did an Instagram reel where I was covered with fall decorations, singing it's corn. I love Instagram reels because I can just be as stupid as I want to be. <laughs> <laughs> 
shirts with the dogs on them. Oh, Big Z! Big Z! Every time I do that, I feel like from walking, the walk to remember Maria! Maria! <laughs> He's looking at me like, yo, Tater! Tater's like, no, oh, my baby, I just love you more than ham and cheese. You're the best, yes, yes. I said yes. Shane never made that promise so he could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, I mean, that's, a, that's between him and himself. I don't have a, a, a you know, an opinion on that. Make merch that says, fairly <laughs> Chris <Craig> Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. I have never seen a community Fearfully ask. potatoed. <laughs> <laughs> now. You guys have been around with us long enough to know that I go by awesomely creative. <laughs> I, I've never seen a community that asks for merch like that, though. That makes that makes my heart happy. I love you guys. I love how I literally, the what, those of you who are here and, like, you're here all the time and you, like, know me, I love how I never have to worry about, you know, how I come across you guys because you know, like, you really do know me. Not like this persona, not fearfully created, you know, in itself, but you know Marina, like Marina behind the fearfully created, and you you know my intentions. And that right there, man, I, even if everybody in the world left me and I was just left with 1,900 of y'all right now, like, I... Y'all my best friends in the whole world. Well, he is, and then the kids, and then the dogs, and then you guys. Well, Jesus, and then him, and then the sorry. kids, and then the dogs, and then you guys. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it, eventually. 40-year-old son died of alcoholism. My mom was put on hospice, and I was diagnosed with uterine cancer within two weeks. Oh, my gosh. Lori, give me a marker. I need to write that down. Um, I'll be praying. You know what? I'm going to start a little thing here. That way, anytime I get on live, That's a good idea. we can just write it down. You won't hear Give me a marker. Uh, that one. Okay. Glory. And I'll put this on my prayer wall and pray. <clears throat> How do I spell my name? M E R I N A. Mur. Fearfully Ina. potatoed. <laughs> I can't. I cannot. Why don't we all pray now? Yeah, in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask for comfort and strength for Lori, God, that you wrap your arms around her, Lord, and you give her the peace that only you can provide, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, it's like Mur. Shane call used to call me uh, Little Mur. Little Mur, and I hated I, it. I, she hated it because I would sit there and tell her it sounded like an animal that was getting ready to get run over, and they'd go, Mur! She didn't like that. <sighs> Been watching since you were a little, you <laughs> I never dreamed it would turn into what it's turned into. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> now, yes. A viral tater song. Oh, what's that one? Uh, the grocery haul song you used to do. Oh, oh, shoot! That wasn't too long ago. No, it was a cute little jingle. Uh, I thought you know, food line would hit you up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what it was. It was something I just threw together. Bangs, what are you doing? Hey, uh, we at, oh my gosh. All right, it's been 182 minutes, y'all. I'm so sorry I kept you this long. I'm so, hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hey, hey Jack. Bauer. Love you. Jack we love Bauer, you, you guys said yeah, you just Bauer. said Jack whole... Bauer. I didn't want to butcher the last name. I think we'll get All that. I need is for you know him to be there and be like, Jack Bower, and I'll be Bower. And he's like, who's she talking to? <laughs> talking to you, Jack. <laughs> I beat cancer due to him. God's great. Yes. All right, y'all. I love you. I think we had fun. Thank y'all for I hanging out with me, Shane, and the puppers. Look at that tail wagon back there. Did you see it? Yeah. We'll have to do this. I I did one a month ago, and I thought maybe I could do one once a month. Um, we may pop in, though. I, I know some U.K. friends said that it was too late for them because they were in certain parts of the U.K. I got babies wanting me to come tell them goodnight right now. 
<laughs> but um, they said that they wouldn't be able to come because it was later. So I'm going to try to just pop in early one day. So that way people who can't catch in the evening will be able to catch us. Maybe like a bonus video for that week just earlier in the afternoon yeah. and stuff. Because I've always posted at 7 since I started basically. But I'd like to do something earlier for them who can't, you know, they're asleep at this point. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed evening, morning, morning evening, night. not morning, evening, night, morning, evening, night. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, whatever it is, wherever, wherever you're you, at. Yeah, know that I, I love, love you, you but, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later. <laughs>